Okay. Wow, these colors. Yeah. Hi, Jay. Looks way darker on camera. A lot. Fair you this Friday. Look at me, I'm pretending to be a human. Okay, we need to adjust the focus. Wait. Oh, wrong one. That one. My, oh, that was the wrong button. Don't mind me. Big slide, oh boy. Oh. I think that's better. I'm like testing this pattern and I kind of already want to make alterations to it. Craft time! Hi, Brindis! Yeah! I'm... I'm... I don't know. I felt like doing Hello. a crafty. Hello! Thank you for your support on both wall. Apprentice is first! We, we may not stick with crafty or stream, but it seemed like a... Here we go. 
you know, just improve the lighting a bit. It seemed like a, a thing to do. You finished a model kit? Nice. I replaced the car road on the lawnmower again today. I went back to the old one, which had a janky valve. And replaced it, cleaned the spark plug, put it all back together, and it worked fine. So the the new carburetor that I bought for the lawnmower was broken because it wasn't getting any compression when I had it installed. When I put the old one back on, it worked. So I was able to mow the lawns. So I haven't done any like the the modely stuff, but I did kind of put together part of an engine, kind of almost, not really. And I have a, a blister coming up on my thumb from the lawnmower. Hello. Well, to be fair, it wasn't really taking apart. It was like stuff that was on the side of it. So I didn't have to like remove the engine or like take off the cover. It was just like the gas tank and like the carburetor that sits on, sits on top. But I am glad that I can do that. And you know, it saves a couple of hundred dollars. So I guess it just just it's just that kind of day, right? You just it's a buildy kind of day. So I did it. I've gone from lawnmower repairs to crochet. Um, I did a swatch, like the gauge swatch for this uh, pattern, and it was really dense. I crochet really tightly, like I have very high tension and the swatch was like really dense and oversized. So, and it had no drape on it whatsoever. So I'm going to try and do a few inches of this actual pattern, the way that they call for it. But what I think I might do, and Luna, you might have thoughts on this because you have good crafty thoughts um it's a half double and a single crochet repeat so i think if it's too dense i'm contemplating doing a half double and then a, a skip like a chain so i'm basically skipping so half double and a chain repeat and i think that might reduce the density of the fabric maybe so i'm just gonna test yeah i'm gonna test it out it would also make it a bit more lacy looking but i'm just gonna test out a few rows because it, it might once it's got some weight on it, it might drape but i figured that's basically like that would in my I was just like looking at it I'm like what if I just replace a single with just a chain right and I could still keep the the start and the end to give it a robust edge I, I kept on forgetting the steps for this for patterns <laughs> so I, I wrote it on a tag and a gift tag and stick it in my yarn so I can just like come back to this every time I forget But yeah, I think we'll try that. So sorry, Luna's like, like arrives and I'm like, so Luna, my consultant on all things. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Oh god, my water tastes so good. You are a big help, Luna, and I appreciate it bunches. Here is your reminder. If you have a emotional support water bottle to wash it and the lid and the straw. 
because my water was like tasting kind of funky and then i looked in the lid at the little like rubber seal that stops it from leaking and it was nasty so i pulled it apart and cleaned it and now my water tastes delicious Luna is pretty fantastic. So yeah, this reminds me to render you wash your stuff, wash your daily use stuff. My water is much much more delicious now. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. What have I done here? All right, that's a half double. So. It's also a really weird hook size for this pattern. Well, I think it's a weird hook size, but I'm not used to making things in DK weight, so maybe it's not weird. It just seems weird to me. It's a three and a half mil hook. It seems like small. I'm not used to using these for normal projects. I'm only used to using these for like Amigurumi. I think it'll look pretty. Maybe. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, maybe I'll try a row. Yeah, as I said, it just it's it seems a bit. It just seemed a bit dense. I mean, I could drop down to like a three and a quarter mil so I can make it fit gauge or I could go to a larger hook because my natural thing was to go for like a five and a half mil so that it's actually a loose wave. So I guess we're just going to experiment today. Thankfully, it's a really simple pattern and I have a a backup crochet pattern, a backup pattern for a shawl if this doesn't work, um, which is a really simple one where it just starts with a, a loop and that's just an increase on either side with a, a gap in the middle. It's really pretty actually, so I've got, I have some options, but I figured working it out now would be better than trying to figure out while I'm in a car. Oopsie. Oh shit. But yeah, it just, it's, it's weird. I mean, I already, well, I already prefer the feel of it. Look at that, look at the difference that makes.
No, I'm worried that that's this is going to be too gappy. Oh, that's a, the dense difference in density is amazing. So that's just in where the gaps are is just a chain. Wait, where am I putting this now? In there? Do I just reinvent the lens stitch? I'm intrigued already. I don't know, I think it might... Hi, Jackie! Wait. I'd be shrimping. I don't know. You don't think that's going to be too boring? It's certainly going to be easier to work if I'm working in the chain spaces. Yeah, that's true.
You could almost alternate it and do some rows. Because it's the same, taking up the same space, but do like an occasional row with a single. It already, f it feels nicer. I'm pretty sure that's just linen stitch. I'm almost convinced that it's just linen stitch. Now I have to check it out. <laughs> no, probably not. Stitch, crochet. I'm pretty sure it's just... Oh, well, linen is done with a single and a chain, I think. Yeah. So basically, I'm just doing a taller linen stitch. Which is funny, because it's like one of my favorite stitches. I like it because it gives like a almost like a houndstooth kind of look where the colors kind of like go together like teeth. We went to, um, my camera lights seem really bright today. Um, we went to our like surplus store that we go to sometimes. Um, it's a place called Sheps and it has like, oh, my necklace is, um, it's like stuff that's past date, but still good. So grocery stores don't sell it. Now it fixes itself. And they had these big bags of uh, kettle corn popcorn for 50 cents a bag. Um, guess who has a massive box full of kettle corn popcorn? I don't know. I might might take a couple of bags for the trip because it seems like it'd be a good snack for for in the car. But like we got a lot. They had blue corn chips for fifty cents a bag too, like the big packs. So we start off each round with a half double and a single. Or oh, each row, I should say. So it's going to have a firmer edge. Is that what I want to do? I think I'm just rewriting a pattern as we go. <laughs> Mega Jelly Mac, hello. Do we want a firmer edge? I think it might actually, you can, it's hard to tell. I think that might be pretty, yeah. So see, cause it's basically gonna have a, a border of like three stitches the entire time, which I, I don't know, it might help give it a bit of structure. I think I've pretty much decided what I'm doing, haven't I? I should just undo it and uh, start properly.
at least I want to keep the dense core. No, I don't. Like, yeah, it is. A hundred percent. Just like that. This is the start of a uh, crocheted shawl. Um, and I'm using self-striping yarn, so it should be interesting. I think I am. I'm going to, I'm going to frog it. We were just testing. I was trying out a few different stitches, but I, th I think I like the way this looks. And it, if we keep on with this, like, ziggy zag that we're getting with the lean, I think it's going to look really interesting, but not so much that it's overwhelming with the colors. So we're going to frog this and start again, but start the way we mean to go on this time. So I'm going to write myself a new set of instructions because I'm really bad at forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> this is what gift tags are good for. Oh, do you reckon? <laughs> Luna's like, I want to read my thing. Do you reckon I should go up a hook size then if I'm doing this? Before I frog it again? Three and a half mil. I mean, I'm basically rewriting the pattern at this point. Like four or four and a half, five maybe? Got a four and a half. A little part of me is just like, but what if I just use? Oh no, that's a three and a quarter. What's that? Six. Don't buy me. Hey, where is my four mil? My five mil. I kind of want it. I want it quite drapey. Actually, I don't want to use. I don't want to use my fills while I'm traveling. That will suck. I'm missing my five mil. This is three and a half. If I got one mil, you know what? Let's do a row with four and a half and see how we feel. I mean, it's not like I can't find this yarn again somewhere. And the chances of me going through a thousand yards of yarn on my holiday is slim anyway, but. We'll try, I'll say four and a half, and then I've got my others on the side. I don't know where my, <clears throat> oh, that's a pen. What's that? That's an eight mil. <laughs> We're doing science. Fiber science. I forgot I had this set actually. So I've got, have I got a five mil here? Is it the blue one? Blue is five, oh god, five and a half. Blue is per, five mil is purple. What have I got? Four and a half. All right. We'll try four and a half and then maybe bump up to five.
I think I should get a good, pretty good idea just from a couple of rows. We're going to have one mil from the pen. So yeah, we've definitely, we've just remaking the pen. Oh, why does this feel like that? really weird. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a fabric softener sheet. Chant me a tick. Mm -hmm. Alright, do the old fabrics off of the sheet to lube up the crochet hook. I don't know if it's just like residue from when it was molded or what. It's so grippy. Why is it grippy? But now it smells nice because it smells like fabric softener. It'd be interesting just to like go up a half a mil hook size or one mil hook size each row and just see the difference. So at some point, I, when you sometimes you get a hook, if, if you try and use too large a hook, it just feels weird. I really just want to be able to use my five and a half mil hook because it's comfy. This. this is my favorite. With all the different, yeah, I said, with all the different
crochet hooks I've had, and this is just like... This is my baby. This fits in my hand beater, and it has good glide. I honestly feel like I'm working faster with it too, which is weird. And the nice thing it was this, with this pattern is that it's working from the tip. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. I'll like it just it'll stop when I run out of yarn. I mean, that feels good. <laughs> now I'm trying to decide if I will do this, if I want to like do like every X row single height. Yeah, I'm using that one. It's just, I mean, it's just a clover, so it's not like fancy or anything. Oh, that's a good point. Well, I mean, I could try and see what it looks like. They're a hell of a lot more fiddly than just doing a chain. No, no. What if? Like, but what if I did the HTC and the single in the chain gap? Yeah, it's just trying to get the, um, I guess because it's it is looser so it's it's somewhat akin of trying to get a marshmallow in a coin slot with the uh top of the stitch from below It's still really dense.
It's still super dense. Jeez. No, nor did I. I didn't think a single would add that much bulk. Well, it's starting to drape now so that's a good sign and you can see it's <laughs> you can see it's draping from when we went to the larger stitches which isn't surprising yeah Yeah, I think I'm going to keep with the the HTC and the chain. It's easier to work. Let's see, just gone all wonky. I mean, I could do, I could actually do the linen stitch. You know what? I'll try a row of that. Maybe. Maybe I'll like it. I don't think I'm doing this right, but that's okay. This will just give me an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know how obvious it is, but how the... I really like... How it, like, cuts down into the previous stitch. So you get like the teeth. <laughs> it's funny how it's curved out like that. But that's still dense. Okay. You know what? That's what we're doing. We're going to do half double and a chain with a five and a half mil hook. So I'm actually not keeping. <laughs> anything from the original pattern. <laughs> it's, it's my pattern now. Yeah, actually, I need to write that down. Where did my star go? Okay. I'm going to keep with the solid start and end. Yeah, 
There we are. Yeah. I the only thing with the the lacy lacier one is I'd worry about it getting caught on stuff. But honestly, if I finish it, it's probably going to be something that I just throw over my shoulders at my desk anyway. All right, so we have the new and improved um i don't know what this is i'm pretty sure we just rewrote the pattern though it is now my pattern our pattern it's the deluna shawl or lunaria shawl it's ours now Right. Yeah. Okay. And that is how crochet patterns are born. My brain just went, wait, what are you doing? Oh, this music is intense. I'm digging it though. I'm enjoying it today. second row looks a bit janky.
feel like I'm getting myself a little bit confused for the end of the row. Oh, that's what I got wrong before. All right. Holy crap. Man, you powered through that. impressed at your pace with these projects like it takes me literally years to make like a handful of bees and you're like I'm gonna make 55 5,000 things in one month and they're all gonna be amazing Yeah, I believe it. I believe that too. What is it? What's the little, the meme there? It's like you have like a, a wand in a yard and you mutter in a secret language and all of a sudden something is made. Something along those lines. Hmm. Oh god, water is so good. <laughs> Keep on being like, why am I so thirsty? Yeah, exactly, Jay. Especially the simple ones, yes. When you've got like lines and arrows and you're like, ah, huh? and then like you try and then you conjure up a bunny. And lo, there was a rabbit. In case you couldn't tell, I went with like synth wave for the music for today. I can't quite figure out what I'm doing there.
the half double there single half double I needed something with a little bit of, you know, I don't know, energy behind it. Oh, all right. It is time for an ad break. Stand up. Stretch, get a drink, have a wee, wiggle your fingers, and uh, I'm going to stand up and move around a bit too because I'm sore from yard work. And oh wait, it's playing. When the when the ad starts, then we'll take a break. The first ad is always janky. Yes! Well done, Luna! Yay! This... Now is ads. I'm gonna take a break. I may have to go back a few hour, a few steps. Hi Toast, you've arrived just in time for ads. I'll see you in a few minutes. I need to wait.
Heist, you have an adult slushie? That sounds amazing. I should have put some beer in the fridge earlier. completely forget about this page. Why did you not save that? Because I didn't save it. Did that save it? Alright, they'll do. Okay. So I had a couple of rows that went a little bit wonky at the end. I was trying to squeeze in an extra stitch where it shouldn't be. Right here. Half double, single, half double the edge. Once I get this figured out, then I need to wake the wings for Rams B. But apparently he's already telling he's telling everyone that he's uh, expecting the arrival of bees any any week now. Very entertaining. Here is the group stitch, and then single and a half double. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I was saying yesterday, it feels kind of like the last week of school. Oh, heck. And I was like, well, I've got these little crafty bits and pieces to do, and I need to figure them out anyway, so I might as well just stream this. I don't have to do crafting or stream, I can switch to something later. But at least this is me getting things figured out. Okay, this is the bit that I can't figure out before how what I'm how I'm treating it. Half double, single, half, yeah. Am I making it unnecessarily difficult for myself here?
Oh, my face is itchy. I have many bugs. Try and get into my face while I was mowing the lawns. I'm pretty sure I had the same bug fly up my nose twice. I'm not happy with how the start and the end of these rows is, is working. I definitely flew in my nose once and I was like, God damn it, but I was mowing the lawn and I was pouring with sweat. So I just kind of like snuffled and I think it flew out and then back in. So I guess it lives in my brain now. I'm not, it's not working properly. I'm not being consistent here. It's funny, the first few rows always just look like a complete fucking mess. This is the bit that I'm getting confused in. That's my increase. And a double, a half double with the air. Go. 
Ach, Jack O. Like, I feel like I've got the. I'm adding stitches now. Right there. It's a, this is the stitch I have to figure out every time because I'm getting confused. On every row. Why, why is brain? Why is brain? I think it's consistent. It's so hard to tell. It's the last few stitches that I'm getting caught up in every time where it's like a half double in the air and a half double here. In there. Mm. 
I mean, I guess ultimately, as long as I'm doing the same thing on every row, it's probably fine. See, this is the bit I don't know, though. I feel like I've got a stitch count off somewhere. I've got one too many or too few stitches on a row. Let's see if that fixes it. Is that... Oh my god, what is my brain doing? That's a stitch right there. Right there, that stitch. I might as well be going to there. And I guess it's looking consistent. I'm not I'm not happy with the increases.
I feel like there needs to be an extra stitch somewhere. Like it's it's a two stitch repeat. But it shouldn't be any different than what the patterns is. Am I overthinking this? See, if it's a two stitch repeat with an increase of each chain, it should be an even number of stitches. Or am I just having a brain dip? Why am I struggling with this so much? <laughs> Alright, but I've got an, an odd number of stitches. So it starts off with three. So you've got half double single, half double, half double and a single, half double, or half double. So that's one, two, three, four, five. There goes the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, Stephen. Yeah, but now I'm getting confused because even the pattern itself is like it's it's got to be so that that works unless I just change the increase to just like two halves because it's trying to maintain that like big little big little stitch pattern and i think that's what's throwing me because i'm like trying to like make it work on every single row because i've got a half double and a chain so it gets to the end of the row and I've got a half double and I'm supposed to do a chain. But then I'm supposed to go to a single for the decrease. So if I do, yeah, if I do half doubles, two half doubles for the increase on each end, It'll be more robust and less confusing. And so it'll be...
So it'll still be an odd number, but then that would be a chain. Yeah. So that's how you get the staggering of the pattern, because the half double loops into the chain below. Yeah, it was just like something wasn't quite fitting right. And I was trying to force it, and I mean, it looks okay, but if I'm like trying to explain it to someone else and I'm just like, so you just do like a half double and a chain across and then you get to the end and you just, I don't know, just do the increase wherever. <laughs> just wherever you want, it's fine. And now we're writing, we're, we're writing magic spells. One, two, three, four, five, see? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the arcade writings. Okay, so now we get a frog it again. But yeah, I was just, I, I don't know. It just wasn't, like I said, it wasn't sitting right. I lost my crochet hook. It's right here. All right, so chain three. And we do. <coughs> Half double. Single and a half double. That's our anchor row. Chain two and turn. So now we're going to do two half doubles. A single. Then two half doubles again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Chain two and ten. All right. Chain. Half double. Chain. Two half doubles. Okay. Two. Honestly, that already looks better. Somehow. So we've just just with doing that have completely obliterated the last remaining thing from uh, the pattern that I found or that, that I was working on. Yep. 
That looks... I, I don't know why, but it just looks so much better. That is, that is doing the work. Like, you can see the structure of it now better. We did it! And all it was was changing the singles. so pretty and i'm just like herp derp i'm making a linen stitch and you're like girl wait till you see this no i love it i do, i love your projects right now please keep doing them and keep sharing them i don't want to i just realized maybe i'm like <sighs> i'm not picking on you i'm impressed but i also don't want to make you feel uncomfortable so if I'm picking on you too much about like crafting too much, please tell me. I'm now overthinking it and worried I'm going to make you uncomfortable with my admiration. Because <laughs> that's how my brain works. <laughs> um, that is the very, that is such a pretty shawl. That's gorgeous. It, it, it is okay perfect i trust that you'd tell me to like chill the fuck out if i needed to i mean that doesn't the thing that amazes me with crochet patterns is you look at them written and you're just like what but then when you actually do it it's not that bad I'm so glad I fixed or figured this out. Did you see, Jay? We were writing a potion, writing a spell. Is it really? I could have got away with doing a half double. You're welcome. With my cute bee, bee pen. My little bean room on the bottom. You know, the runs in my family, Jay. My mum is a witch, and my aunt is a druid, so it tracks. So that's worked in. 
Oh, the width rather than the length across. That is so pretty. Maybe, maybe one day when I grow up, I can commission Luna to make something amazing. When I, when I grow up and get rich. Okay. I don't even know why I have the pattern up on the desk now, because we've got the pattern figured out. I don't need a picture. Oh god, this is so much like now I've just now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Funny enough, it's so much easier. And I absolutely love patterns when I'm working into chain spaces, especially if I'm gonna be traveling, because I'm not having to like squint and try and find where I'm supposed to put the stitch. It's like right there. Oh, Right, right there, right, <clears throat> right there. It shouldn't have made that much difference, but it did. Now I'm like, oh, let's see what I could do here is I could do like a shell. Like, no, keep it simple. Now I'm like, but I'm already working into chain space. I could do like a cute little like cluster in each thing, you know, where you do like a couple of like, like two double crochets together. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, no, fuck's sake. Like, but what if I do this? No. And then all of a sudden it's getting out of hand. But like, I could. Like, just a, a couple of little, like, shells, you know? Wait, hang on. Just putting that in the right place. I'm just like, but what would it look like? Maybe I should try it to s no. Stop it. But like, what if I did this? Just like, what if I did this? Is just out of curiosity. Just, 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 you know, to science it. Hi, Ollie.
I took the pattern that you gave me, tested it, changed it a little bit, and completely rewrote it. And now it's not that pattern anymore. It's something else. But we're going. Luna's been guiding me through the process, as always. And I was just like, but what if... Like, science! So, this is the, uh, the magical arcana going on here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna try it. I'm like, but what if I do little clusters? No. Stop it. So the pattern was actually, the pattern is really pretty. But I don't know if I was doing it wrong. But it was like really, really dense. So it's a really skinny, this is quite a fine yarn. It's like a DK weight yarn. And it was being worked on the pattern called for quite a skinny hook as well. So it was a really dense fabric. And shawls are kind of supposed to, you know, like drape. So I was like, so we experimented with a few different hook sizes and then I was like but what if I change one stitch in the pattern to be something else and it was like okay that made a difference and then I'm like but what if I used a larger hook what if I used a larger hook again but keep the rest of it and then we just went but what if I get rid of the way that they do the start and the end and I do the start and the end differently? So it's... It's it's completely... The only similarity now is the first row. The rest of it, we've basically rewritten it completely. Um, and now I'm pretty happy with how it's going. So it's a look, it's going to be a lot more drapey and open. And so we're going to have like a, a, a dense border, which you can kind of see coming up here. Yeah. And then this like, once it's, it's got some weight on it, it'll stretch out a bit, but it'll be a bit more lacy and, and lighter. So the pattern that you found was fantastic. It gave me like a starting point to write my own pattern. Which I'm uh, just quietly, I can't decide if I want to call it the Daluna because Luna helped. The Daluna shawl or like the L Lunaria. Doesn't. Yeah. And it'll be really neat once the color changes because it's kind of hard to see here how the it comes over top so you get kind of like a, a bit of a hound's tooth like teeth coming down so once the color changes start happening it'll be some interesting blending the luna yeah but also dal and luna already moon <laughs> the moon yes just like her i am picking thirsty today from doing the yard stuff but also so incredibly thankful that I got it done.
I was really disappointed when I looked at my step count for the day and it was only like five and a half thousand. I'm like, how dare? Like, I fixed the lawnmower, I mowed all of the lawns and we went to the store. Like, surely I get like a thousand bonus steps a day, right? Just for being a good girl. It's how it works, right? yeah it's obviously there's like some hacks going on and then I, I had to laugh I had to laugh at this that came in on the app for my half birthday they offered me half off ice cream or cake I kind of love it. Like, it's such a cute thing. Like, a couple of months ago, they offered me, like, a free bunch of flowers. And now they're offering me... You can, Luna. That's the thing. If it's your birthday, and you have, have a pub and you have Publix nearby and an account, you will get a free cake or a free ice cream. Yeah. You just go in, like, you get like a, like this as well, but you get in, you put your account in, and yeah, any of their brand ice creams or bar cakes, and you were just like, yes! It's completely unnecessary, but very smart in building brand loyalty. It's very fun. Oh, look what... <laughs> we, went, we went to the closeout store, the the overstock store, store. And I got a couple of things which were very interesting. The snacks. This I was intrigued about. A lot of lifting? Yeah, so these were I was intrigued about, but also... Got a ton of this. 50 feet a bag! So we got a few... Tell your wife she's she's welcome to come come over and get popcorn. I'll even let you have some, Ali. I'm nice like that. We um we also got some they also had blue corn chips. Uh yeah, gluten-free, non-alcoholic. Oh. It really smells like bourbon. <laughs> like, I find it very hard to believe that is not alcohol. Oh, wow. That's good. Like bourbon gummies. I don't, man, I don't know what, how to describe the flavor. Less than 0.5% alcohol.
I mean, they taste like bourbon. Yeah. But it's not like overpowering. It's more like the caramel. It's made with Kentucky bourbon in Germany. How is it made in Germany, but it's a USA? Like, I'm sorry, that, that... But yeah, it's definitely, definitely, it's like a, a caramelly bourbon flavor. So kind of like... Oaky? I guess? I don't know how you describe the flavor of, of bourbon, but... The only thing I'm less thrilled about is the texture. There's not a lot of... There's like mukbang here. There's not very much resistance or bite. So it's like a very firm... Jello rather than a... Or a very soft gummy. Those are good though. But definitely not something you could eat a lot of. I have two bags, I could send you one. I don't know how they'd arrive in the mail. I said we got them for 50 cents a, a pack. I don't know what they are normally. I mean, the expiry was November last year, but that's fine. Or sell by, I should say. <clears throat> or best before. How dare Dean post about bread but not share pictures? Well, actually, he posted a picture in our group chat. I mean, he can't. Look, I can post when I'm live. There's no excuse. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, that's the bread that he that that's that's Dean that Dean's bread right there. Stolen from the group chat. Like we're ever going to be like not wanting to see bread, please. Yeah, I'm definitely a lot happier with how this is coming out. <laughs> Why can't we have birthday croissants? <laughs> I have other things that I should be working on, but now I just want to play shawl. Why did that go through 
That's weird. Oh, it's just starting in 30 seconds, by the way. So, time to stand up, stretch, have a wee, get a drink, do a hydrate and stretch. I am going to refill my water bottle because it's empty again. Um, and I will be back in a few minutes. Right. Hmm. I literally just need to make two round wings. That's it. And stitch them on. What size hook was I using? For the body. I can't remember. Six mil. Yes! See, the nice thing is when you're streaming a craft project, sometimes you can go back through your VOD and have a look and see what size crochet hook you're using. Oh, this is cute. Look, it's a penguin galaxy. 
Ah, hey. Penguins. Penguin and a cosmic hug. Ball. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Hobbits. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I'm just uh, <laughs> excavating for some yarn. Yeah. I'm young. Oh. Hi, everything's under control. what I needed. That bloody drink. Hi, Hobbits. <laughs> I was looking for Hi Wendy. Uh for my white yarn so I could make little wings for Trunk B. Use this one. Okay. Hello. What am I doing now? Oh, it's been a long day. 
It has been a day. Um, my drive. Nelly B. Passions. Amiga Rumi. Speak. Bumblebee. Not that I really need a pet. But now I don't have to brain it. All right, now, uh, Little, little winks. Little winks. And then I need to find a cute flower. Uh. Isn't it cool? Um. I thought I'd forgotten how to do a magic circle. Isn't it amazing that Voyager is still sending data? Like, after all this time. It like it blows my mind every time I think about it. Ginger. Ginger. I'm sure Flynn wouldn't mind if you wanted to check out the multiplayer with him. He said it's it's much like, you know, any other sort of thing where you can do stuff with people or by yourself. Yeah, I'm wiped out too, Ravi. I mean, if you're too tired, don't push yourself, though. Like, there's, there's no need. Well, he hasn't said anything about being jerks yet, and he's pretty vocal. And he, if you asked him, he'd be able to give you much better feedback. But he, he streamed it all day yesterday, and I think he's streaming it today.
I'm assuming he's streaming. I probably should have a stream up. I'm not lurking on anyone today. What a bad wife I am. Not even lurking in my own husband's chat. Oh, nice. Well done, Ravi. Oh, yeah, look, there he goes. Oh, there's drops. You should definitely be looking because he's got drops in there. Get them fresh Twitch drops. Hot off the digital skillet. Or something. I mean, it looks like it's got some interesting building in it. I was watching um, Old Zebra playing it a little earlier. For some reason, it's just not got my attention. I think I just have too many other things going on right now. But I think he looked at it before it was released as well. He did some beta testing. Rearrange furniture, mate. Oh, there we go. That's such a good idea. I saw I saw him fight a giant bus yesterday which was something interesting need more water. Speaking of drinks. So it's like Florida Man, the game. I know he was running around with a baseball bat yesterday. Oh my god, speaking of Florida Man. We saw a driver today. Um, so I should have taken a photo of the guy's tag. We were driving along and we were at a red light at a couple of lanes onto the right. I saw a guy in a driver's seat. And at first I thought he was just like jamming out to his car, like really like jamming it out. But it looks like, I don't know, his movements like really exaggerated. And then, uh, I noticed he was wearing a balaclava and I said to Flint, I was like, I'm getting my phone out so I can call 911. Because this guy is like, limbs are flailing. He's in the driver's seat with balaclava. I'm like, there's a bank block up. Is he going to rob a bank? <laughs> is he psyching himself up to rob a bank? Because this is Florida. I know. That's why I was like, this is, this is Dodge. Um, and I was like, I kind of was like, do I have my phone ready to call 911 or do I take a photo of his plate? And I'm like, it's more important that I get on 911. I'm ready to call 911 if I need to, because this guy was like, all right. So like the lights wave, he's like leaning out of his car and he's like waving his hands around. And if the traffic behind him is like backing away, like giving him space, the light goes green and he drives off. First his arms out the window, then his head's out the window, then his fucking foot 
is out the window. And I was like, all right, I'm about to dial 911. And then he just like pulls into a garage, like pulls into a thing on the side of the road. And I was like, what the fuck? Like his foot was out of the driver's wheel. He was not, I don't know. He was, I think he was, yeah. <laughs> he was tripping on something. It does. Florida, man. P possibly. I mean, maybe I should have called 911 anyway, because he's obviously a menace on the roads. Um, But he got off the road. I'm sure. <laughs> I was just like. Dude, I'm telling you, he, f he figured it out, Hobbits. The thing is, the guy was driving, like, he was staying in the lane. He wasn't, like, erratically accelerating or braking or swerving. Flint saw it too. We were just like, what? What did we just see? <laughs> no. He just, like, pulled into, like, a, like a trailer park or something and then... I genuinely thought he was going to rob the bank that was like a couple of blocks up. Why else would you wear a, a balaclava when it's 90 something fucking degrees? It's so weird. Like, I really should have taken note of his tag, but I don't remember it at all. But I think it's. Um, his behavior was erratic enough and it would have been caught on red light cameras, I'm sure. Or something. <laughs> but yeah. Wow, that was a trip. yeah i can't i just i can't imagine and he looked like he was having a great time yeah i mean i can't think in florida of a good reason to just be driving down the road with a balaclava Really? I should have. I was. I was a little worried. Um, I was going to suggest to Flint that we try and follow them. Like there was, there was one time that Flint and I were coming back from the store. I think it was in winter because it was dark. And we were going through the back streets and this car was like wavering all over the road like crazy wavering so i called 911 and i was basically like on the phone with them saying like i gave them the car's tag and we were following at a distance because we were genuinely worried because this car would like speed up and then slow down and then it would swerve into like the other side of the road and we were following them because like, dude, this person is going to have an accident and hurt himself or themselves and someone else. And they were like, oh, there's nothing you can do unless you file a report and say you were scared. I'm like, this person is like crazy erratic, like a drunk, they're high, they're sick, like something is going on. And eventually they were like, well, we can't do anything. And I was like, should I should I tell you that they've crashed? <laughs> uh, and eventually we were like, you know, it's, it's not safe for us to be following because we don't, you don't know 
if someone's that erratic you don't know if they have like a gun in their car yeah so we were just like it's like we gave them all the information it's like i told them it was like you know we were westbound on such and such a street you know we then turn like northbound on such and such a street so they knew where we were but i was like wow <laughs> it was that was something yeah i mean it was 100 percent reckless driving but they just i don't know if they were just like really busy that night but they had zero interest But yeah, Flint eventually was like, we're just going to pull back and just let them do their thing. He's like, we've pulled in, they've got the tag, they've got the general location. It's like, we can't do anything else, not safely. Yeah, I know the hell up to I know Thirty. 30, oh my god. Oh, interesting, Ravi. Yeah, the hell into Wainui. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just have to, Hobbits, right? Like, when you're going that slow, it's dangerous. And that's a busy road, too. And also, going at 30, some cars are going to struggle to maintain that speed without overheating. What the hell? Flint is fighting a traffic cone? No? I don't know what that was. Poor guy. I mean, it always makes me feel sad when I, you know, when someone loses their license, especially an elderly person. Because that's their independence. It's, right? I was just like, what is that? <laughs> It is. <laughs> hey, I don't fight traffic codes. I win. Um, yeah, our like when we had that, whenever we've had to call the police around here it's always taken hours for them to arrive even when i told them we like we had a we had a used to have an rv outside which the and there was like at the back of the rv uh, like the back of the rv is like here and then there was like an overhang of trees so it was kind of a bit of sh shelter from like the weather like behind it and we had a lot of people who, a lot of drug users in the area who would basically sit behind the RV under that tree. And you know what? That's fine. If they need shades, they're safe. They're not on the road. They weren't leaving a mess in our yard, really. Whatever. <laughs> um, but we went out one time and this guy was like, um, he was like banging on the side of the RV, just on the panels. He wasn't doing any damage. But his lower half was naked. And he had no idea. Like, I was like, hey, buddy, are you okay? Like, and first of all, can you stop doing that? But secondly, are you okay? And he made he, no recognition that I was there. Um, so I called the cops and I was like, this guy is clearly off his fucking rocker on something again worried that he's gonna walk into traffic or he's gonna hurt himself and they're like well can you like can you do anything for him i'm like no i don't know if he's got needles on him i don't know <laughs> you know like there's literally nothing i can do you don't want to like approach someone who's like tweaking out without some safety measures and it took them hours and they sent a community support officer, which is like a cop light. <laughs> like all they do is basically uh, 
the ones here, they basically just like take notes and pass it on to the appropriate department. They don't have any, you can't, they can't arrest people or, or take them away or anything. It's bizarre. Um, so yeah, ours don't really have any interest in this, this particular part of town. I don't know why everyone's into zombies, Ravi. I mean, I've been hobbits. I've been stuck behind like a truck on the the hill over into Wairapa. That sucked. I mean, even getting stuck behind a, a slow truck going up the Nauronga Gorge is painful. Yeah, I think it was like, uh, Flynn was fighting one of those like canvas slippery and wet signs that you put on the floor. The premise of the game seems to be like the veil between worlds is thin and there's been like a, a crossover of energy or something and they spirits are like inhabiting random objects in our world so you end up with like buses with like arms and legs or slippery and wet signs with arms and legs It's bizarre. How big do we want the wings? Like, itty bitty? Like this? Oh. I've got my left and my right mixed up. Oh, I'm still here. Oh, geez. Narrow Gorge is so bad. At least it was always rough. I used to live up in Newlands, like up on the, at the very top, like it was basically in the clouds. Um, and you could see it like the traffic snaking around down to like Lampton Key or the, the highway there. I, I don't I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think I ever stopped anywhere in my entire life. I don't think I ever went to any place. Yeah, well, they don't. They don't. It's awful. It's you're literally in the clouds. It's I, I hated living in. I lived in a couple of different places in Newlands and it was awful, awful, awful. Not to mention the the pub there was like the, the Newlands Arms or whatever the fuck it was. And the shopping center was like sketch as fuck. <coughs> This is, I mean, I'm a Johnsonville girl. Um, like, I was raised in Johnsonville, so I'm familiar with living in the hills. But you cross out over Bassett Road and you go up into Newlands, and it's just like, 
No. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the street I was on, but I, yeah, well, basically it was just like up in the clouds, you know, like walking to work in Johnson Roll from up there was miserable because you'd just be damp. You couldn't dry your clothes properly on the line. You'd think with it being so windy, it would help, but no. <laughs> that was a miserable walk up there too. The road from... <clears throat> I used to walk... I can't, I can't remember the name of the road. Basically, there's the road, the main road that goes from the top of Narongo Gorge, like goes all the way up to New Orleans. So I'd like walk all the way from like basically the very top of that road all the way down and then down into Johnson because I worked in the mall. Down was fine. Up sucked. All right, Holly, have a good night. Enjoy your slips. It was a, it was a whole lot of hell. Wellington is a very hilly city. My hometown. Hobbits is hometown. It's very, very, very hilly. It was a treat when I moved to Kilburnie and it was flat. I can't decide if we want to do little wings. You know what? Let's bring up the picture of my last B. Why do we have a window capture for Microsoft Paint? <gasps> Cross. Completed projects. I should be able to see from the picture of my last B. Ah, that's overexposed. Ooh. Well, I can always do another round, and if I don't like it, undo it. So we're going to do increase and then three. Actually, it was just in, uh, for... A little while I lived in Kandala and that was pretty bad too. <laughs> oh no! Was it like farmers? Wait, a department store. How long ago was that? I said, mind you, it's been a while, but like Radford's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they had the. <clears throat> like opposite the library, they had that little like weird bit that store that like jutted out from the mall at the back. Not the back, the, the side. <clears throat> um, that's probably, you know, Hobbits. You might have, we might have crossed paths there somehow because I was around there mid to late 90s. I spent a lot of time hanging around in the uh, outside the railway station for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I 
as you do. I mean, I was like 17, 16. I used to work at the Baron of Beef in the Johnsonville Mall. <coughs> And I loved it. And my grandparents loved it because we'd get a meal. And I used to get a roast lamb sandwich with like gravy and cheese and coleslaw. And it was so good. I used to also spend a lot of time at tracks at the bar at the railway station in town though But yes, I may well have been a teen that you saw loitering and went, oh, teenagers. Let's just say I was enrolled at Onslow College <coughs> but had to introduce myself to the Dean to sign out because at the end of the year because I never went I remember his name okay I think that's a good size wing yeah, that's a good size for me. <sighs> Man, that's so weird. I've like not thought about um John Johnson Bull Mall at all. Like it changed so much over time. Like I remember <clears throat> my grandma used to work. I think it was a Woolies before they did this like massive makeover in the early 90s I think when it kind of went like um, like Westfield kind of vibe but yeah All over. Man. What do you do? I stayed with some family friends in Titae Bay for a little while and it was so lovely. All my mates back in Wellington were like, ooh, what do you do? It's gross. Titae Bay is gross. I'm like, it was gorgeous. I loved it. It is good. Yeah, it was really lovely. My, my friends, um, my friend would like just. I mean, it's like that everywhere, though. But yeah, she was pretty close down to one of the little bays. But uh, like she had this fatalistic view of security. She was like, if someone's going to break into my house, they're going to break in because burglary, because, you know, Poriroa Titai Bay. So she's like, I just leave my door unlocked. She's like, I don't want to pay to replace a window. So she's like, I just leave the door unlocked. Uh, she had like her, her ex-husband's boots outside the front door all the time to make it look like there was a man in the house. But she's like, they want to break in. They can, they can break in. Whatever. I don't care. Don't make me fix things. And as a result, 
I was like, you know, that kind of makes sense. But I, I really enjoyed my time in Titai Bay. I thought it was a lovely place. The bus route takes you through some pretty sketchy areas, but... But yeah, I was I was very much raised in the northern suburbs. I was looking at Google Maps the other day, um, out of curiosity. And my friends used to have a a farm up the top of Johnsonville, like way up the top. I'm not going to name roads because I don't know if that, that's probably not helpful to you, but you know, you've been so probably have been out there. I mean, that makes sense. They're probably housing court places, right? Um, but I looked at like the map and there was like no sign of the farm there at all. It was just like all like Churton Park kind of housing suburban type stuff. It was kind of sad. I was raised in an old housing court place in Johnsonville and it was oof. It was it was damp. It was not stable on the foundations at all. Like it would shift. The whole fucking place would shift. Um if we had like an earthquake. Like actually move on the the foundations but this was like it was a place that was probably built during that during the 50s i think like when they had that big public works project it was like the entire street. It wasn't quite. It wasn't like state house, like in Porirua, um, or in the hut where it's like the the two story places. But they were definitely like they were the, the two sort of uh, conjoined properties all the way up and down the street. But it did have a full quarter acre section. <clears throat> Which is pretty impressive for a housing core place. For anyone wondering what the fuck a housing core place is, basically like government subsidized housing. Um, but New Zealand was pretty. The the housing was not great quality. In fact, most of the subsidized housing in New Zealand is pretty terrible quality, which is why there's such a high rate of asthma there. The homes are just damp. There was this whole leaky home thing when I was there. Just lots, no, not adequate insulation, I guess. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to waffle on about New Zealand stuff. It's just when my brain goes there, it, it goes there. I don't mean to be boring.
Which is funny, most of my memories back home I have are of like damp places. Like I had an uncle who lived in Wainui. <coughs> Backed onto the hillside. And his place is always damp too. What are we doing? Increase and then wow. Yeah. Yeah, his place was well, I don't know. I think it was probably built in like. 70s maybe of the 80s and it had like the steel frame stairs that had that really sort of like texture like that stony gritty texture for the staircase <clears throat> it was like a two-story place with yeah i mean just like the standard kind of i don't know the the dark wood <laughs> it was very dark Honestly, kind of glad I grew up in Johnsonville because it's nice there. Or it was. Don't know about it anymore. Good when I was small. It's so weird to think about because I mean it's been like nearly 20 years since I left and I still like <clears throat> I can still mentally navigate around places there like I know like you know like mentally I can like map out the paths to places and know like where to turn and street names and landmarks and it's, it's bizarre <clears throat> and the weird little routines so like going going around to day's bay with granddad to feed the ducks that was us that was our thing Go to Days Bay to feed the ducks. And every time we drive around the harbor and see the sign for Petoni, he'd always be like, Oh, pet one. It's like, oh god. Every time, without fail, always pet one. He had the routine down pat. And then I think further around the bay is there'd be like a sign for like penguins crossing or something and he'd be all like, why are the penguins cross?
catch on my nail and I keep feeling it on the... Feeling it! Alright, I think this is... Alright, one more. One day I'll do one of these big bees and brush it just so I can see what it looks like fluffy. a massive boring pack from like Dollar Tree or something. I just I can feel a fiber catching on my nail but I cannot can't get it it is Definitely. It's not Sunday, Star. You silly. Oh, did I do a wrong here? I just like to keep you all on your toes. Well, this is helping me prepare. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ruby. This is helping me prepare for my trip, though. Like, I actually need to make these. But yeah, I'd say after the last, like, few years, my toes are, like, worn down to knobs. <laughs> I'm tired of being on my toes all the time, too. I don't even have toes left. Oh god, that sounds terrible. always wanted to do ballet but mom told me I had the grace and elegance of the cro a cross between oh my god star that's amazing she told me I had the grace and elegance of cross between an elephant and a kangaroo Which is a really awful thing to tell your child. I mean, it was true. Oh, we have ads starting. <laughs> it's so, that's funny. Did you find anything, though, Stern? That's the question. I like that you like pay attention to what what game I'm playing. 
I'm always curious if people do that. Like, oh, what's Dell up to today, for fuck's sake? Oh, really? That's interesting. Is it like, oh, for fuck's sake, what game is Dell gonna make me want to play this time? Even if it's a game- Oh, Ravi. Now I'm like, what? What game is it that makes you cringe? <laughs> but I appreciate that. Sounds like all of your games make me cringe, Dell. Fuck's sake. Oh no! <laughs> like, no, I don't. Oh, you mean like Assassin's Creed type stuff when it's kind of gory? Yes, hobbits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. I haven't played that in a while. I'm like, must get back to that. <laughs> I mean, you watch me and Drax, so obviously you are. And cool people play Vintage Story. Uh, the last I heard, they're both still feeling pretty rough. Um, but hoping to be on the mend soon. Yeah, I saw that. I did see that dropped as well. I'm trying to, trying to get these wings centered on the bee. Here. Well, they're just little circles. And, and I do do a lot more crochet than you do. So I, I would expect to be a little bit faster at that.
it's really cute. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of love casting on. I love the rhythm of casting on, like doing a long tail cast on a knitting. Love it, love it, love it. Little wings. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. It is. Every time I make this B, it comes out better. And I'm like, this is my favorite one. Oops. I'm just that good. I'm super efficient. And with grass maker. Oh, that must have been, I think if it was another giant bee, it was the one that I seen uh, that I did for Carter. Which was a chunk of bee that had a green flower. Yeah. Yeah, that's Coda's chunky bee. I hate when I make something and then I'm like, no, it's cute. I don't want to give it away. All right, so that's pretty much. Oh, look at my streak poking through the hair. Oh, I like that. We can do that too. All right, so now we need blue yarn because Ryan wanted a blue flower. Oh God. Okay. You're low in honey? I know! It's a rush! I have no idea what flower pattern I used last time. <laughs> Rude! How dare! I don't think I have a flower saved. How long till you can drink your mead? Why are you doing this to me? <sighs> J flower pattern three. Twenty five free crochet flower pen. Oh, <gasps> those are cute. This article just links to Pinterest. Oh no, it's fine. <clears throat> no, I don't like that one. Oh, so soon. Oh, 
Okay, he is a Christian. Now let me do a window capture here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I know what it's doing. Um. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, but so this is a flower for the bee, so it'll be like sitting like like it's tucked up in your hair. We can either do like a sunflower or hi, Bakma, or like this kind of flower. Well, I was going to do it in blue, in this bright blue, with like a pink center. Because I've done... Uh, you reckon? Because I've done... Uh, I think I've done this type before as well. I think that was kind of the one that I did on Coders B. Yeah. You did do that. What do we reckon? Okay, so sunflower or the wagon wheel. And then we'll just put stitch it on. Look, fuck my. Poor little flappy wing. It's better than having a chip on your shoulder. You can have a bee on your shoulder. I kind of like the simplicity of the sunflower. It won't stay there. It's not very well trained. Because it just looks like, uh... <laughs> I, I hope, hopefully it was a nice thing? Was it about setting politicians on fire? I think we're gonna do a sunflower. <gasps> okay. Okay, we're gonna do that one. Do we wanna do pink or do I want a purple center? I feel like a darker color center would be better. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's really cute, Buckma. <laughs> Bee blitz. Darker? I, I tidied my yarn and now I can't find any. Oh. Dark purple? Ooh. Oh, that's about right color. I think that might look cute. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Oh. 
Okay. Let's make a flower. How do I make this flower? The only small in size will be two and a half inches. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can use a larger hook. I don't want a video tutorial. That very important part of B-Stream. I'm going to use... I use a three and a half mil for DK. I'm gonna use four and a half mil. Where, but where is the end? At the BM, what's the BMV? Searching for lampshades? Oh boy. Um. You've been busy. Do you have thrift stores nearby? You might be able to find a, if nothing else, like the structure for a, a lampshade. Oh, okay, got it. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like... Ah, go away! Fuck off, pop ups! It sounds decidedly not fun. I put the old carburetor back on the lawnmower and made it work again and mowed the lawns today. And it was awful because it's really hot. Weird. Three, four, five, six, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And eleven. Twelve. Oh, nice. That's always a good find. We were always looking for like new thrift stores. I don't know what it is. Like this part of town would really do with some good thrift stores, but they start here and they close so we have to travel really far to get to thrift stores and almost all of them just being like subsumed by goodwill there was a, a really good thrift store that had a huge furniture section um and it was pretty good drive away <clears throat> and it was an independent one but they closed to be able to use the repurpose the building which is totally fine so I'm looking forward to going thrift shopping in uh, when I'm in Ohio.
That will be fun. <clears throat> hmm. I'm gonna put it away though. Oh, oh really? One, two, three, four, five, eight, nineteen, eleven. No. That's that's very helpful. <laughs> very, very useful. I'm assuming I just like find this off. Like I have a, 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 I know the address of where I'm going, but I have no idea on like what part of the city is. Like if it's far from things or. Apparently it's close enough that there's like a bunch of interesting food places nearby. So that's a perk. Now we're gonna leave that tail so I can like stitch it onto the bee. Food? Yeah, there's like lots of lots of food places there. Oh, back loop only. Right here. And four. One, two, three, four. I, I totally heard it like that. Single again. Wait, am I doing this all back loop? Trippin'. They trippin'. Chain four. Single in the second from the okay. Oh never mind. Single. Single. Half double. Lip stitch. 
into the back loop of the same stitch that you joined. Okay. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Apparently, if you like read the entire instructions, it gives you information for what you're supposed to be doing. Like, weird. That's it. That's a that's the pedal. That seems pretty small. I mean, the bee is pretty little. The uh, the the flower is going to be bigger than the bee's eye. That's the center. Whoa. Hey, let go. So I think the scaling is okay. I'm just wondering if I should make the petals bigger? Yeah, it does. I think we're going to make it bigger. One, two, three, four, five. We do <clears throat> two double. Half double and a double double. Still seems really small. <coughs> Maybe. I've added a bit of extra length and width. I love that this camera can do purple. Okay, so we do one, two, three, four, five. Two singles, half double, and a double. I think it might be okay. One, two, three, four, 
five. I love how I specifically said, hey, can I have music with no vocals, please? And the music's like, sure. Here's a track with vocals. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> yes. No, uh, Soundstripe, you can filter out holiday as a theme or a genre, which is amazing. It's like the one super positive of using Soundstripe instead of Epidemic. Though sometimes a couple will slip in, but it's not nearly as bad as Epidemic. Epidemic has good, better music overall, I think, though. Flippy is so helpful. Though I did... I, I, I did get very entertained from the... Um, the AI music playlist creator who specifically gave me a singular Christmas song when I said, give me anything but please. I loved that. Like, please give me an eight hour playlist of classical music excluding Christmas. And it's like, sure, here's a two and a half minute Christmas song. I did good. And I'm like, no, no, honey, you didn't. Yeah. It was definitely, I was definitely polite catting at, at the screen. Cause they're like, it's, it works best if you use natural language. I'm like, have you heard my natural language? I'm pretty sure I'll get banned from Soundstripe if I start swearing at the AI. Okay, it's looking, it's looking better now that we've got more petals. People yelling, woo, hey, it's not vocals. I think that's coming together nicely. Oh, look what I found, Bakma.
they're actually really good. Though, they say non-alcoholic. Yeah, so they actually do have booze in them. They have bourbon in them, but less than half a percent. Um, but they actually have bourbon in them. But what I was thinking, Stone, is you might be able to make mead candy. Um, but they actually do taste like bourbon. Like they've got that kind of like oaky sort of warm caramel kind of flavor. And the smell, like when I smelled the bag, the f it's a very strong smell. But they are pretty good. We got them. There's a, a place near us that does like um, it's called Sheps. It's kind of like a an overstock kind of place, consignment kind of place where like they buy like expired stuff from grocery stores. So things that are past their best buy date, but are still fine. Um, and I'll often get like, we'll get like a, a massive box of corn chips that are like two months past this date. And instead of paying like $4 a bag, we pay 50 cents. Um, and yeah, we had these 50 cents a bag and I was like, hmm. What's interesting is it's Kentucky bourbon, but made in Germany. Real Kentucky bourbon. So they send the Kentucky bourbon to Germany to make them and then bring them back. Or they just pretend it's a brand in Germany called Kentucky Bourbon, but it, it definitely does smell like bourbon. Very interesting. I had, it, I had like open the bag and it was like, good lord, this reminds me of like when I did bar work. It was, it, it's quite strong. You're basically hobbits, except it is things that people buy. It's actually really good. Like, you've got to be careful with what you buy there. Like, I wouldn't buy dry goods there because you know you're going to end up with a, something full of moths, unless it's like really new. Uh, but it's great for candy, it's great for like snacks, um, even like some medicines are, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Hang on, I don't know. This is uh, this is the the area that I'm gonna be for like the first week. I don't know if that's any closer. I then to you than Columbus. I I don't know the flavor. I don't know the layout of uh, where the how did flavor and layout get confused? I have not licked Ohio, so I don't know what flavor it is. I don't know. But I'll be I'll be there for like as much further. Oh, that's a shame. Um, yeah, I'll be there for a week before I go to get into Columbus. You know what? Orienteering. I uh, would be much more fun if it was all about or navigation by flavor. 
Oh, it's a real shame. Our quote bot's broken. Um. So yeah. So sad. Rip. What? There's nothing to see here. I I got the word layout. <laughs> Listen. Fine, I'll let them both stand. Uh, I got the, the word for, for layout and flavor confused. Thank you, thank you, Bugma. I appreciate that. She really does have a very fun emote. All right. I'm I'm feeling targeted right now. I'm going to eat candy. It is. Oh, you're going to do spice for sale this evening, right? Make sure you let them know in the Discord and they might pop in. I mean, they were in with us, right? How long did we play? It was three hours from start. Oh, hmm. Oh, maybe. I mean, it is the middle of the night, but the game developers. They've done some bug fixing already based on our feedback. They might be. We're posting in their Discord anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, they they did an update for like object placement. Great. I mean, that, that is much further. It's like 50% extra. Oh well. But yeah, it seems like they've been like really paying attention to the feedback and acting on it. Which is amazing.
I'm so, so looking forward to taking these bees up to Rayum. Like it's just been, oh, it's just been a, a weight <laughs> on the shoulders. I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't. Oh, I know that's actually cute. I was like, I don't know about that. But I, I think that works pretty well. Maybe like up there. It's fine. The bee is okay, even if I did just impale its head with a giant needle. Are we gonna pop these tail? I'm not gonna mess with them too much. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It almost to me it almost looks like it like some sort of sea anemone or something. I think it's just because of the colors. See an enemy? An enemy? An enemy? going to like stick these to the magnet but they won't because they're aluminium aluminium i think that's about the right placement or do we need to put it up higher hang on Is that good or do we need to move it up higher? Like up here. 
I may have to hit that with starch too. I'm having difficulties lining it up. I think that's okay there. Looks good where it is. All right. Yeah, just one. Just one flower. All right, good night, Ravi. Have fun. Hope you have a, a blast playing. Yes, okay. Um, playing space for sale. Seen, seen, Dal, seen. Well, not that you can see much because I'm like cuddling the bee right now. It's like the bee's getting an ear piercing. I specialize in bee jewelry. Being dazzling, <gasps> yes, love it. I might just give it a little spritz with some starch spray just to smooth the flowers out a bit. Oopsie. like my my favorite part of making these things is like adding the little details all right that's good The law of physics will be on my side now. Okay. Embellishments. Oh no, it's so cute. Yeah, that flower's not going anywhere. I'm gonna have to take a picture of it outside in the sunshine too to catch the color.
The bee is watching you. Okay, well there was another a, a job that needed to be done before my trip. And we did the thing. Oh. We did it. Oh. Okay. I shall ask them about it. They put this gown away. Hey, you had that. Thank you for the follow. The ground is her very far away. Oh. Oh, I might be up there. I will be up there on that time, I think. I think. Yeah, I think I'm due back around... I don't know, sometime after that. Until at least the... Uh, I'll be up there until at least like the 10th, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, I don't normally do crafting on sun on Fridays. I normally do it on Sundays. Um, but I had a... A thing to do. This was from uh, an extra life. We did an extra live stream, and uh, anyone who donated over two hundred dollars uh, got a B. Actually, it's an extra life blue. I should have made the gre the center green, the extra life green. Um, but yeah. Well, yeah, I also had uh, other things where like um, I did beanies and fingerless gloves and scarves as well and the extra life colors <laughs> I love that the header on their Facebook page is quality shit since 2010 why is it going to my desktop speakers um I have ads popping in 30 seconds, so time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, have a wee, um, look at something not your computer screen. I will see you in a few minutes.
Um, I would like to uh, share a hick and hick. If you are a streamer or a mod for a streamer that plays No Man's Sky, hick. <laughs> <laughs> John! Like, man, Power GPU got it in before Cathalion. Oh. I don't want to show the rest of Twitter because sometimes you never know what it is. <sighs> Cathalion's usual reply. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone else, Jesus Christ, Sean. <laughs> I saw um, Oblivion Jess posted it in Molly's Discord. I was like, ah. Oh. So, what day is it? It's Friday. No, it's Saturday today, right? So, it's probably going to be Thursday. Is it Tuesdays or Thursdays they normally drop? I think it's Thursday. It's, is it Friday today? Oh. Crafting today really has thrown me off. <clears throat> well, then it might be a Tuesday drop. I think they normally do them on Thursdays, though. Yeah. But I said normally No Man's Sky updates drop on a Thursday as well. Okay. So we have done the B. We can close that. One less thing to stress about. Well, I'm not going to be here to stream it. So. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> This is a trongle I made. I have... We, with Luna's help, made a, a design for a, a simple pattern for a shawl. It's a very little shawl right now. It's more like a Dorito right now. It might be a blanket for a Dorito. But it is going to get bigger. <laughs> this is not the right one. I have two cups. A cup, sorry, a cup and a glass on my desk full of freaking crochet hooks because I keep forgetting to put them away. Not well. I mean, Taco Bell did that Dorito thing. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't like great. Now I have like giant skein of yarn. Like this is um a thousand yards or eleven hundred yards. Get them, stream elements! Get them, Bachma! Thanks. I want I want the bee to stay on screen. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna put you there. Perfect. I just dropped something. What did I put the knocker? I keep on forgetting to put my crochet hooks away, and then I end up with all these cups on my desk full of crochet hooks. I don't know. 
This is like a, blue, a blanket for a blue blue chip. One chip. Ma'am, your your snoots on the way. It's certainly a lot easier to manage than when they just use like oopsie keywords. So this is um, gonna be a, a shawl. Yeah, exactly. You wanna keep your Doritos safe when you're traveling. <laughs> Hi, Bubbly Bill. Welcome in. I saw you join the uh, the drop there earlier. <coughs> I have fur balls, apparently. You missed the leaf file, that's okay. It, it happens to everyone. Here? Here, I think. No, ah! Here. So we're working on a basically tried we, well i mean we designed this pattern to me something really s simple so that i can work on it when in the car i don't have to count really pay much attention uh, and i think we've we've nailed it so this is going to be like the perfect tv watching uh project And because it's using the stitches it is, <clears throat> it's like really easy, like super easy. Or no brain. If I had to make 50 Dorito sleeping bags. It depends what mood I'm in. But I I always enjoy like the police procedural type thing. Just for like something that I can watch without um too much mental engagement. We just finished watching, but yeah, I like a procedure, pro pro police procedural or something like Stargate or Star Trek. That we just finished Brave Strange New Worlds, which made me sad because I need more Strange New Worlds. We're back to Picard and it just feels weird, man. Picard is weird. Um, yeah, I like sci-fi. I also like documentaries. I like most things. Sopranos would be a good one too. Like one of them like long thing, maybe like Carnival. I still haven't watched that. I have a lot of things on my watch list. A lot. I'm shrimpy. Oh. What about you? What would you be watching? Oh. If I had to make 50 of these shawls, I would probably just die.
that's the probably the, te the technical verdict there. Which is kind of drastic. Stargate Atlantis. We started watching. I know we, uh, my my hubby and I, we tend to like hit up Stargate every few years. We'll just get through, binge through it. We but most recently that we watched, uh, uh, was it SG Stargate Universe, the one when they are on the. That massive ship. I think it was SGU. I actually really liked that one. I thought the cast was interesting. I thought Robert Carlyle did a really good job of being an asshole in that. But yeah, we go through and rewatch all the Stargate ones pretty often. It's like a comfort show for us. I think Blind Age Lee has a full DVD box set of the original Stargate series. No, it's it's not a it's not a comfortable one at all. By any means. Atlantis is a really interesting one, though. Been a while since we watched that. Man, you know what? I really like this. It's really pretty. I feel like they're all kind of hard pressed to to compete against the original cast. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to watch now. And see, we watched finished Discovery last week. I think we knocked out the two seasons of Strange New Worlds, Star Trek to Strange New Worlds, which I really enjoyed. And it's like, well, there's always Enterprise. And then I too can have Buckma's favorite song stuck in my head. But yeah, if I'm if I'm binge watching, it's usually like a real uh, like a long drawn out series, and one that's got like good good dialogue because I don't I tend to listen more than watch if I've got my if I'm working on a craft project. But yeah, I'm also, I don't know, I mean, I like police procedurals, I like period dramas, you know, I like sci-fi, I like fantasy. There's really not much I won't watch, except for maybe like reality TV type stuff. Though, I do enjoy watching real estate type stuff for on uh, for reality TV, like the, you know, home renovations or house swap, that sort of stuff I always enjoy.
This is definitely feeling a lot better than the other one. Oh yeah, I love those ones too. There was one particular documentary and I've never been able to finish it. It was like, I, I did some like Pavlovian training somehow. When I lived in England, um, they had like the BBC iPlayer, which was like, like just like video on demand of the BBC shows, uh, which is available to everyone if you pay your license, the TV license in England, or well, whatever. Um, and I used to like always rummage through for like documentaries and stuff. And there was this one called Wild China, which was like a, a nature documentary about the environment in China, like the trees and the forests and the rivers and stuff. And there was a show that I would put on to put myself to sleep. And I would, I shit you not, I have never been able to finish it. Like, it it knocks me out. And I keep forgetting about it because yeah, it would be quite nice, you know, <laughs> to have a show that can just, like, pick you up. One day, one day I will be able to finish it. Why is my monitor doing that? Ugh, why? I made it worse. My portrait monitor has been weird. But yeah, some of those how it's made type things are really good. Like watching things like chain link fence or like candy and ice cream, this sort of stuff, like with the repetitive movements. Honestly, I used to even enjoy watching point porn stars for a while there. Like early on. I don't need to be doing this anymore. This is established enough that I can just like put it down and then pick it up in the car. But if I can get through this loose little lodge of yarn, that'd be good. I still have to set up my fabric for my embroidery too. I got the um the Alice DLC for Power Wash Sim. That's really neat. It's very colorful. Playlist is very interesting. be really good for satisfactory. Actually I quite often end up going for like this sort of playlist for satisfactory. I can't remember what it's called. Synthwave. This is a bit heavier than Synthwave.
This may end up being quite large. The goal being, if I finish it, it'll just be something to like throw around my shoulders when it's um, cooler, which is entertaining because it's Florida. But I, I, I have a like a shawl that I, I use for when I'm sitting up in bed. I'm officially a nana now. And honestly, it's so good just having something to throw around your shoulders. So if you're sitting up in bed and reading or watching TV, you can keep cozy. I am so ready for this color change to happen. Oh, there it is. New color has entered the ring. Look what I was doing for a minute there. This is the bit that I was looking forward to. The interaction between colors. Code I said we'd be doing trucks tomorrow. I love this color, like self striping yarn though. And like, it does all the magic, so you can do like the most simple stuff and it looks really fucking fancy with all the color changes. This is, this is what I really like with a stitch. How the colors kind of like bite down like little teethies. Yeah, I'm going to do some trucking tomorrow. We've been trying to do like one little thing to, to sort of pack or trip a day or to prep for the trip. So like today I got the lawnmower fixed and did all the lawns. Um, and we went to the store and got a, a big grocery shop done. Not that that makes any difference because Flint's capable of doing that himself, but Apparently I needed to do the lawnmower repair. And then... Like, I still have a bunch of laundry to do. But that's okay. Ravi is having issues. Oh, excuse me. I, this is my favorite part of a new project, like the very beginning, where it's shiny and new and exciting. Before you're bored and tired of it. 
because it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. But yes, I'm quite, I'm very happy with how this pattern's come out. Maybe I should publish it. I have one crochet pattern that I sell for a whopping three dollars. And every now and then someone actually buys it and it blows me away every time. Um, it's a pattern for a blanket that I made. I don't know if it's popped up on the, uh, thing. It's a, like an, a, a, a lap size blanket. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of large, hang on. It's a, it was one I made for my brother-in-law. It, so it's not something that I would go for myself um <clears throat> but yeah i'm punish a skull <coughs> with the u.s flag and that thing took so fucking long to make and when i started that was my very first crochet project i didn't know how to crochet at the beginning of that project I didn't know what the stitches were. I didn't know how to change colors. I knew nothing. And it took over a year to make. And I, I, I figured it out. I like did a few rows and pulled them apart and like measured how much yarn each stitch used. And then I like graphed it out and Google Sheets and used a formula to figure out like how much yarn I would need for each color. Um, and then they had a formula in there so I could like X off each square that I completed because it's done like kind of like in pixels. So I could tell like how much percentage completion I had. Like I went all fucking fancy. But yeah, apparently people in this country like this pattern. Someone took it down for copyright reasons. Um, and then they asked me about it and I am just like, it's just a flag with a US skull. And so they released it back. They put it back up. But it, it's like one of those things where I'm like, I will never do that again. And I have already started a summer blanket, but like not anywhere near as detailed as that. I had one year where I made everyone a blanket for Christmas and it was the worst decision. It was so exhausting. I should stop here, right? Do something else. That's a good start and it's drapey. See, it's folding. When I made this swatch before, it was just like stiff. It was like a Dorito. This is actually like flopping. Which means it'll be cozy. It's important for clothing and blankets when you do crochet to have it be floppy.
now this is the other boring job I need to do for my trip I have this really cute pattern that I found Oh, I can't find it. It's really big. So I found this picture pattern, crochet, bleh, cross stitch pattern, which is really cute. So that's going to be my my more detailed project for when I'm away. And I've changed it so that it's not blue. It's in green, greens and browns rather than blues and oranges. So we just got rid of the blue mostly. Um. And I'm planning on using that as a gift, but I don't know how I'll go with finishing it. But before I can do that, because it's quite detailed and on small um, Ida fabric, which is really small, there's basically 18 little squares per inch of fabric, like per row. Um, so I need to do a basically stitch a 10 a grid on this a 10 by 10 grid to help like figure out where i am in the pit <laughs> it's riveting stuff uh, but it makes life so much easier later down the line use grid thread yeah this is another like Job that I need to do before I start doing the project and I will just put, put it off forever and ever and ever but first I will have some ginger mm. It's quite spicy. Mm -mm. No, this is sliced crystallized ginger. There is no ginger person on this one. This is good. Oh yeah, absolutely, Bill. A hundred percent. I'm not worried about crossover at all. I appreciate you asking though. Ooh. No, they can't be fixed. <clears throat> um, yeah, you basically chug them. So the spoiled spoiled food will still like fill you up, but it doesn't give you as much satiation. So you can still use them, like even when they're like really nasty. But yeah, it's time to chug a pie. Um, I don't know if you've looked at uh, storage 
can tell is jacked oh my god you made so many pies that's amazing i mean yeah i don't i don't want to i don't know how far into the game you are so i don't want to like info dump on you um you could try and make them last longer with a couple of things but the the joy is in the joy and discovery and vintage story is like very real <laughs> enjoy your breakfast lunch and dinner I'm already going. Okay, yeah. Are they they're spoiled even in in a storage vessel tucked in the the cellar? I've done like two stitches and already I'm like, do I really need to do this? This is boring. Oh, bugger. I mean, you could let them turn to rot. Which, you know, is useful as well. But, I mean, if you've made them, you may as well eat them. Yeah, so... I mean, it's not super efficient as a compost method, but, you know, it, it's not a complete lot, yeah. Oh god, my eyes are just, like, struggling to focus at this. Four, five... Mine eyeballs. And I still was off by one. <laughs> You're very welcome, Bill. I'm I'm glad you uh, are comfy enough to ask. Man, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna do. I'm, st I'm struggling just to count this for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twen
Sorry. All I really need is the scene to mark. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Honestly, the crochet is so much easier. Four, five, six, eight. Okay, Bakma. How long ago are you saying that? Oh, just now. Okay. It's meteoric irons wearing out fast. What are you uh, chopping? Um, are you playing with mods or not? Not in base game. Um, but if there's a an interesting mod, if that's something you're you're comfortable looking at, okay. So there's a mod called X Skills, which adds like an experience point system, kind of like in MMOs, whatever. And one of the things that you can do is if you do like a lot of mining, you get points in mining and you can like uh, have it so it reduces wear on your axe or makes it like regain a little bit of durability. Um, if, if that's something that, that might do it. I mean, there might be something, another way of doing it, but that's, that's the only way I know. But you still like it it still requires some investment i guess of of time and doing stuff for for that to be available yeah. Oh, 
So there you go. Okay, well, if you've got X skills, yeah, check out the, um, the ones in, in mining. And there should be something in there to help you with your X. Oh, sorry, not mining, uh... Is it forestry? What? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but there is something in the X skills that'll help you with that. I believe there's also, um, I mean, it'll help with the durability, but I believe there's also smithing perks and X skills, which means that you can Im add like improved durability, like the, the more you craft, the better you make things or something. I don't know if that's a, something that would work for that. I haven't messed with that, but yeah. You're, you're very welcome. As it's, I always try to like not info dump on people. It's like, how much do you say without saying too much? So that's one scene to one line done. Now, where's my masking tape? <clears throat> oh. oh, well, thank you. I didn't know if anyone watches them. It's just, I usually just like load up. I just put my, uh, upload my VODs um, as mostly as storage. But I, I did have someone mention that they wanted to watch and so that I kind of tried to change the title to say it's Winter Story, but I'm, I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad someone's watching. 
I'm open to feedback as well if there's anything you'd like to see. <coughs> <coughs> I'm assuming if you're watching uh, vintage story stuff that you've encountered Drax. Um, but if you haven't, uh, definitely check out his channel. He streams on Twitch too. Um, but a, mo a lot of what I've learned uh, about Vintage Story, I've learned through Drax. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find my mask cap right here. That's fantastic. Yeah, Drax is really lovely. I actually... Um, like, well, I haven't played on his current server, but he has a Patreon, uh, like a Ko-Fi server. Um, which is different settings. He, I don't know why I just turned that around. Um, the server is a lot more intense than mine. I'm a, I'm a wuss, really. <laughs> tape over the edge of this fabric I mean chances are if you've looked anything up on YouTube you probably would have encountered some of his stuff I'd be honestly surprised if you hadn't He's a good friend. He puts out a lot of good quality content too. Like he actually makes guides, so it's not just me babbling and making weird faces. Oh yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I honestly, keeping inventory on death is just like, it's such a convenient thing. But what, it, it, I hadn't thought about it playing as like a family game, but that's really neat. So I've got like, <clears throat> when I first started playing, I played on it. I played it on like basically passive mode, just so I could learn the, the basic mechanics. Um. And then I joined a, joined a Drax's server, which had like everything active, and that was quite the uh, <laughs> quite the wake up. And I enjoyed that, but I ended up basically we made our own for uh, people who support me on Fourth Wall, and so it's I mean as you would have seen from the mods, it's it's peaceful, but if you, I mean. You mess with things that are gonna mess you back. But I I don't have the lol men trying to eat my face, which I'm quite a big fan of. If he is just like, hi Todd! Yeah. I'm a big fan of not being eaten. But it's nice that it's so customizable so that you can just get it, you know, to where you're comfy and 
I'm a big fan of that. All right, how many stitches wide is this? 153 by 148. So we have Ed starting in 30 seconds. Um, so time to stand up, stretch, get a drink, have a wee, get a snack, move your legs. Um, I'm going to take a break too, so you won't be missing out on any riveting conversation. Um, going to leave you all with the bee staring into the camera. Um, and I'll see you in a few minutes. You hit it! The 64 points, that's not bad. How did I land in the middle? The last I saw I was like ricocheting madly. Alright. Alright, so the width is 150. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so it's like here.
Okay. I think I need, I could probably cut the excess fabric. Where are my sewing scissors? Fabric <laughs> scissors. Oh. So that is, let's say six. So that'll just make it a lot easier to handle. technical measurements. <laughs> All right, so now we do the same thing. We do it. How to use a mm, maybe how to use the prospecting pack? Or no, the handbook. How to use the handbook properly? I was. I think I was playing for quite a while before I embraced the handbook. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, and also plant. Plant the seeds. Get the dang garden planted. There was three. You asked for one. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the, the planting thing, it's still, like... It was months and months and months into gameplay but on this on this, the stream server before I planted Flex, and now I'm literally just... I'm stuck waiting... Well, I'm not really stuck because I got the windmill sorted out, but... Stuck waiting for Flex so I can, like, make the sails for the windmill. If I'd planted when I first arrived there, I would have had it already. That's not going to be enough. Five, six. Did it again? Yeah. A hundred percent. Well, my problem is I'm always like, I'll just, I'll hold off until I find like the right spot because I don't want to waste the high fertility soil. It's like, I could just plant the seeds in shitty random dirt. It doesn't matter. Like anything is better than nothing. It do. I've got to find just the right spot. Oh, this is very... Uh-huh. Yeah, no, nor am I. <laughs> I, I. I am terrible at taking care of myself in-game and in real life. Like, both times where I've had problems with it being cold. I've been saved because someone's someone else on the server has been like here's some warm clothes put some damn clothes on Dell <laughs> that's why I ended up moving south so that I didn't have to worry about it I'm still not sure about the temperature like <clears throat> where I want to to plant my fruit trees because you know like the longer I wait the longer until they they ripe ripen especially with it only really being me on the server and i know that some things need to vernalize so they've got to get cold within a certain temperature so i'm like toping the mountain above my cave as like the right like a spot that's at the right temperature so i can just like plant an orchard up there and be done with it Oh, hopefully. But it seems like it's such a risk, like if you plant them at the wrong time, especially tree cuttings, you could just could end up with no trees at all and you've just wasted the cuttings.
Oh, that's clever. <clears throat> I I mean, I saw the perk, but I never really paid much attention to it. That's not cheating. That's using the mechanics available to you. I mean, that's, that's what it's for. And you have to play the game to get the perk. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure the serifs don't have pixel bits so you should be okay there is something to be said especially in a hot climate for just running around naked This again, but with counting. Okay. Did it again. You're in Scotland? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I honestly, when I lived in England, which I know very much is not Scotland, um, I was surprised at how hot it got in London. I was not prepared for it to get like 30 something degrees. I was like, what is this? Everyone complains about how like England's like cold and miserable all the time. It was beautiful. When I went up to like, uh, I went over to like Stonehenge, when I went down to Dover, it was gorgeous. I really wish I'd got up to Scotland. Desperately wish I'd got up to Scotland. I have like, what? I knew that I had a heritage there, um, but my granddad was an orphan, so I wasn't entirely sure, but we did some research and uh, yeah, I'm like just a couple of generations off. I, I've got Mackenzie's Lovitz and Phrases and my uh, close family. I mean, everyone bloody does now after watching that fucking Outlander show. But I actually do have Mackenzie's Lovitz and Phrases in my, my family just a couple of generations back. My granddad wasn't Mackenzie. I've always wanted to go there. I was always drawn to, to the UK and Scotland, but I just never managed to get up there. And I hate it. I hate that I didn't get up there. I swear everyone in the States is like, I've got Irish heritage or I've got Scottish heritage. I'm like, dude, everyone does. <laughs> the Scots are a randy bunch. There's a lot of people out there who've been Scottish heritage. A friend who's in lives in Glasgow. Should 
she always, always sounds like she's having a laugh up there. I did that say there's bl there's like the key there's always kiwis. There's kiwis everywhere. At one point, twenty percent of registered like of New Zealand citizens lived outside of New Zealand. I think a large portion of them were in Shepherd's Bush in England, but you know, like kiwis get everywhere, we're like cockroaches. I've always had a fascination with it though. I guess a lot of people are the same for New Zealand. They've always, you know, this, especially with driven with uh, the, the sort of Tolkien um, vibe now, a lot of people are, are really drawn to New Zealand. And I was like, you know, there's more to it than that. <laughs> but by the same token, it is a very lovely place. I have to figure out if I can install Vintage Story on my friend's computer. I mean, as long as I log in with the same username, I should be okay, right? Ooh. Oh. Fine. <laughs> I got all excited. I still have the original... Yeah, I still have the email. Um... Yeah, I still have the email from the original uh, from Uto, so yeah. So I was thinking, like, when I'm, at, I'm staying at my friend's place, I don't want to, like, mess about with Steam accounts when I'm there to stream. So I figured that, you know, it'd be a real shame if I have to stream <laughs> Vintage Story up there. <laughs> sure would be a shame. Um, but I was like, what games do I have that aren't based on Steam? I'm like, that is right, obviously. I have no idea what my account information is for it. I mean, I've probably got it somewhere. Maybe I'll I'll start a I'll try and do like a special challenge when I'm up there. Like something different. I was kind of intrigued by Drax's one one block challenge. Yeah, so actually that's on his channel if you um that YouTube link that I posted earlier. But yeah, he he started a thing where basically he generated generates a single single block and just see how long you can last on it. 
like how far can you get on one block surrounded by water and i think that's really interesting i think i might like expand it to like four maybe or maybe or maybe 16 or maybe 32 so a chunk but yeah like it's like very fascinating i've seen drax did it and then i saw someone else was streaming it too and i was like it just looked really interesting they had a, a beer Though I think, like, if you had the primitive survival mod on there, it probably wouldn't be so bad because you could fish. Long challenge. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, Toast. That's not a challenge. You do that all the time. You're like an expert at it. It's like New Game Plus. It was New Game Plus Orange Cat. I'm wondering if I should iron this. I mean, it's going to get screwed up by, like, by using it, but... Eh, I don't know. Once it's on the frame, though, it's probably going to be okay. This is, like, the most work I've put into preparing anything for, for a cross-stitch. Yeah. Why are you going to do that? bloody split on me when I was playing. I'm putting masking tape on the edge because otherwise the stuff is fabric frays. And that's really annoying. Okay, could we maybe... It's so sticky. Thank you. 
So what are the, like, are there other games that you're into, Bill? I'm assuming as a, a parent, you probably don't have a whole lot of time on your hands for gaming. What are you up to, Toast? Are you in on the Drexel server? <laughs> I haven't actually checked our server in a couple of days. Ooh, a taste kitchen. That sounds fancy. Dang it, did it again. It's not good quality. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a big job. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you get to spend time with them. That's awesome. Gaming is such a useful tool. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's one that I I keep looking at, but I'm like, I'm just, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that commitment. Like, it seems like a lot. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're good at a game, as long as you have fun. I, I am looking forward to Satisfactory's full release, well, 1.0 release in a month or two. When is it? September 10th? Alright. So now we have center point marked. <sighs> and the edge is protected. Now, will it fit? Oh. I have... No, oh, I don't think it will. I don't know if I want to try using one of these frames or not. Awesome. Seven Days is such a fun game. I enjoy that. I played it on and off over the years. That's a long one. another one that it's finally out of early access soon right ah okay
The glass? What do they do to the glass jars? The ones with like the little honeybee on the top? The water jars? This is 18 count, so it's eight and a half by 8.2 inches. <laughs> oh, okay. But I like the jazz. These things are so hard to get off. Weird. Well, I mean, it's such a moddable game. I'm sure someone will get them back. I can't remember when I played last. It's been a hell of a while though. Like a few years, I would think, since I played last. Like without any intention of like playing for more than a few minutes. I mean, that seems okay. Area does it give? When was the last time I played it? October 31st, 2020. So a little, little while ago. Now I'm looking at this and being like, do I, do I want to start my cross stitch now? Like maybe?
this is my homemade solution to the frame getting grubby. Frame, but like the the fabric on the edge. And it also makes it look kind of cute. I'm like, uh, I'm so fucking ADD today. I'm just like, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It looks really cute. doesn't take much to entertain me really so you get these these covers you can buy these fancy covers for your frames here to keep them clean um and you can buy them online and they're elasticated and you know that's fine obviously but I was like, I'm not going to pay. <laughs> Me? Pay for something else that I could make myself. So I did it with ribbon. And I did that because I figured ribbon isn't going to stretch as much as elastic over time. So it should last me for longer. Me? I'm going to fix this little... It sounds like we've got quite a quite a crossover of games that we both enjoy. That's always nice. Eh, do I've been I've been all over the place the last few weeks. Searching for that that hit of excited fizz with a new title. Which is silly, because every time I set up Winter Story, I'm like, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I can make this. Especially with uh, my granddad, very was very much like that too. Like as long as he could, he always had a an old Singer sewing machine that he would use to do everything on. That thing was a beast. And uh, he was, he was fucking talented, man. He definitely taught me the benefit of trying to do things yourself, which is great because that's how I figured out with his, him pushing me when I was younger meant that today I was able to fix the sewing, uh, fix the um lawnmower and yes i am proud of myself for doing that even though it's not a very big fancy job 
my hands are not cooperating. The only problem with the pay for it, why I want to pay for it when I can make it, is I go to a store and I'll see like a knit sweater and I'm like, I could make that. But then I'm like, but that would take like 50 hours. And how much yarn? I'll make sure I'm not stitching through the ribbon there. All right, scuffed but fixed. So yeah, this is like uh, this fabric I've got all over the place uh, from like an old pillowcase. I've used it for all sorts of things. Oh no! That's amazing! Yeah. I feel that. Big time. I don't have quite the wide range, but yes. 100% understand. And you're like, but everything looks cool! Oh, now I'm wondering if I should have put the clamps on over that. Yeah, it'll be fine. But yeah, I I have a ridiculous amount of fabric. We've got like three sewing machines here. I can't access any of them at the moment though. But I love the days like today where I can be out in the yard working on the motor for the sewing machine. Come inside, do crochet, do cross stitch. Feels good. Whoops. <laughs> Put that together the wrong way. I I always get trouble sewing. Because apparently I go too fast or some bullshit. Oh, Why are you being like that? I mean, I bet you could crochet on it. Here we go. But yeah, I'd say between you all, you're, you're set. Should the real life seven days to die apocalypse come, you're good. fun thing with my embroidery it, it is Buckma um so the other day I wanted to wind up on my embroidery floss and it was taking too long so I used my drill and it worked really well so you know when you like Put a drill bit in if it's a small drill bit how the internal mechanism kind of like pokes out, out of the front like pokes out of the end to the bit that grips onto the bit so i like pushed it forward and then i basically had it grip on that and then i'd hold the floss and like make it go fast and it would spin the and it's so pleasing to look at Our tools and embroidery. It's the best. 
at least once you've done like your big deep clean though like then you can maintain it and you don't have to worry about finding like someone else's pukes or like gross bathroom song no this was i mean a sewing machine is a power tool but this was like a drill <laughs> but you're right I was like lateral thinking. Oh. The question is now it's eleven o'clock. It's kind of late. These are all the bobbins for this project. Do I start? Or do I just like chill the heck out? The nice thing actually between switching between crochet and the stitching, like the embroidery, is that my hands don't get as sore. And I'm a big fan of that. The the flower petals are curling, Buckmart. Like they're like curly flower. Almost looks like a crown, except it's on the side. Hey, yeah. wait. Where is the center point on this pen? Right there. And I'm just looking at this and I'm like, what have I done? Why am I doing this? This is a lot. I right, good job. Don't post those pies. Ouch. So. That one is three, three, four, five. Very technical. There's a lot of color changes in this. I don't know how long to make this. How long do we make this thread? Look at that long. I think that's too long. What? It is what it is now. Three, three, four, five. Out of the way. That was definitely too long. If nothing else, I can get this anchored in, get a few stitches in, and then I've got a starting point for my cross stitch and my crochet. Oh, oh no. Hey, that reminds me of when I worked in hospitality, Bachma. I literally had, there was like one guy who would come into my bar that I, the bar that I managed, who was an absolute jerk at the best of times. And he'd be like, smile love, it's not that bad. And I'd be like, you've ruined my day. <laughs> Go away. That was before I learned the phrase resting bitch face.
I'm like, why are they different sized? I think there is a difference. Um, but I have not taken the time to look into it. I generally just stick with like, I just stick with one grain. Um, I usually just go with, personally, I usually just grow flax because you get the fab, the, the flakes for the, the windmill or whatever. And then you can use the grain to make oil or uh, grind it for bread. So it's like one product that does three. I'm sure there is a difference, but it's not something that I've looked into. I remember Oh, sorry. See, I, d I was trying to avoid spoilers. I'm sorry. This is really ache and small. Okay. fluff in my throat. Uh, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. Um, great time to stand up, stretch, have a break, get a snack. I'm going to do the same thing because it's important for self-care and I will see you in a few minutes. Don't forget to drop.
I saw I saw that writing. Bakma and Luna having a fight. I didn't I didn't know it could do that either. Ugh. Get in there. Oh, oh, look at this. This cute planner I got for this year. It's so pretty. It's empty right now, though. It's, it's not got much. <laughs> not much at all. It's pretty. I'm trying to get better about planning. Which is easier said than done. When you've got people like Sean Murray ruining plans left or right center. I've lost half my doodads. <laughs> Oh god. Everything on my shelf is falling off. The bottom half of my doodad. Oh, I found some of those though. The base for the doodad. Where did I put the base for the doodad? I have no idea. Probably right in front of me, and I just can't see it. All right, to move the bee out of the way. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh god, it's so small. Oh yeah, this is definitely too long. Luna, that pattern that we uh, came up with is is going to be good. It's so small. Yeah, like it's I did a bit more. And look, it's draping already. for drapey drapey me mean, if you drapey means it'll like sit comfortably on you and not be all like Bleh. and the yeah it's it's working out a lot better and i really like the um the change in direction the left and the right slants there um so now we know how to make Sleeping bags for Doritos is very important. Um, it's a combination of factors, but in this instance, it's because of the pattern. Um, so I've deliberately made it so there's lots of. Uh, no. A sleeping bag for Doritos. Um, there's lots of holes in it, so it's more flexible. Um, whereas if I just did a whole lot of like single crochet stitches, the fabric would be a lot more rigid. <coughs> um, but it makes a difference. Like if you've got like really thick yarn or thin yarn, it, it's a combination of factors. Um, but like, you know, like you want a blanket that's soft and sort of like flows over you and, and that's what you want, especially for a shawl. But there'll be times when like you might be making a, a, ba a bag or a basket where you actually do want it to be really stiff fabric. Uh, so it just depends on the goal. But yeah, this is going to be, this is going to work 
Perfect. It's kind of crazy that this is just a series, like one long knot. Oh yeah, that was a really cool hat. I definitely have the floss too long here. This is going to be tricky because normally I work off the color grid that they provide, but I've changed the color pattern, the color palette. Am I allowed? Well, I haven't been arrested yet, but it is Florida. You're you're welcome to to add the sound effects in for me if you like. I'm I'm not going to stop you from having fun. Holy crap, this track is a lot. I'm just, I'm just gonna... It was called The Beast Within. I'm like, the beast is about to come out. We're going to chill the fuck out. That is a bit much for, for cross-stitch. go goal achieved there is a lot of stabbing conveniently for me hey Nadia I have this adorable needle minder hey it's a little magnet and it it holds the needle yeah someone really cool got it for me i have a, another one too <laughs> little little black and white one yeah it's much better than just like stabbing the needle in the fabric or you know losing the needle that's really cool person named luna got it for me i think it was luna lurks yeah i was using some neo neo demean neo neo i can't say the word um the, the, the rare earth ones. They're a bit too snappy. <laughs> a bit a bit too strong for a needle. I, I, I pinched myself with them. Neodymium. Neodymium. Yeah. I can word. 
Luna, right? All right. Yeah, yeah, those. Them grabby ones. Yeah, they are Narnia. I is very lucky. All right. Neodymium. Okay, so I was close. I was overthinking it and getting tongue tied. Yeah. I I forget about necklaces sometimes. I go through stage where I'm just like earrings, and then I'm like, nah, done. Then I'm just like. Oh, I should say a copy of this. Oh, as a backup. Copy. Am I going to title that backup? My pattern is in a PDF. Oh no! Wait, are they are there lots of cages? Is there a table with cuffs? Just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. It's it's fine. No, re I didn't I didn't ask for any particular reason. No, no, not, a, not at all. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right. All right, I have backed up the pattern. You've lost your- oh no. I hate losing my kitchen bucket. Oh, how, like, how dare that where that happen? The ceiling wants his bucket. Feels like I need my bucket. So I always have this, like, decision that I stress about when I start a new cross-stitch project. <laughs> On, like, how far I should carry... Uh-oh. Man! Like... Fruit trees are great, but they're so stressful because you've got to get them, like you've got to harvest them and process them like as soon as you get them or they go off or just fall off the tree. And it's like game plays. Why are you why are you gonna make it so hard? So yeah, I've got this, put this pattern into PDF and then I just put it into edit mode and I use the, uh, the little like marker edit tool to like basically dot every stitch that I've done so I can keep track of where I am.
So I'm wondering if I might be better actually printing this out. I'm traveling. Also wondering if I need to like zoom in on this because it's so small. Oh good. I'm glad you found it. I always end up with like five or six buckets in the kitchen. I can never decide if I want to treat each stitch singly or do rows and how far am I willing to like carry the thread at the back. And I always start off like really particular and then I get bored and I'm like, yeah. And then also trying to decide if I should just do like work it down in rows or like work until the color is complete. How is my count already off? <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Holes. So the center of the pattern is not actually doesn't line up with the center of this grid. It's off by one stitch up and to the left. Which is just so stupid. So there is a center line, but then the actual 10 by 10 grid is. Well, no, I don't have to convert it. I mean, I have to do. I don't have to undo the stitches. But it's just like a bit wonky. 
But the red center line is useful. Yeah, exactly. Like... So, like here, can you get in any closer? That's as close as it gets. So you see, you would think that where the, these red lines meet would be the center of the pattern, but it's not. I mean, it is the center of the pattern, but then you see these bold black lines, that's the 10 by 10 grid. So I can either edit the grid in the pattern because I've done all these stitch based on the fact that this is supposed to be the, the center. So it's like, but if I'm not using a 10 by 10 grid, does it matter? I mean, what I have is still relevant. It still relates to the red center. But still, like, why would you just not? Rah. Adam, please. I forgot I can do that. There, now you can see a close-up of the pattern that I'm working on. I'm just going to keep it and ignore the guy, their lines. It's just, it's going to get confusing later. Do I need to... I think we might need to zoom. Zoom? Zoom and refocus. Oh, not that much. There. Now you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully the movement isn't too much. Yeah. It's still just kind of irritating though. Is that the base I can do for focus? Yes. Hi, asking how you doing? Is that too much to have it zoomed in like that? I don't want to make you feel sick from the movement. Looks a bit grainy, see? Hey, that's here. I'm good, thank you. But yeah, I can never decide if I want to treat each stitch individually or it's like a chunk. I use the word chunk a lot, huh? I do have a frame for this. Trunk is a good word. I have a frame for it, but it's kind of difficult and awkward to work with on stream.
having um having the pen being able to like zoom in is like super handy i feel like the quality of this is not great but It's very small. I've already made a mess on the back. It's fine. No one's going to look over there anyway, right? Gonna be covered in other things. My god, I cannot for the here we go. I'm like struggling to feel the, the embroidery thread. For me is i struggle to focus on the stitches but i can see the gaps like i get the the black the holes i can like sort of easily catch so that's what i'm trying to aim for <laughs> oh, trim that there we go Having the little focus up there is actually kind of useful for me to look as well because it gets rid of the the distraction of all the other stuff. So I'm only looking at what, what stitch I'm doing in relation to like the nearest ones rather than... the big picture. vintage story friends in today I am am I up late is it late oh I am up late it's almost witching hour Well, now I'm going to turn into a pumpkin. Well, I'm glad you came here, Stu. We've been all over the place today. Doing a whole lot of crafting, but talking about Vintage Story.
I finished a giant bumble, a Chonka's jump bumblebee with a blue flower. It cracks me up how the, the petals are curling. I'm, I may, I can't decide if I want to hit that <clears throat> with some um, starch or just leave it. I think Graham said he's just going to put it on his couch as like a, a cushion. A oh, little, little bee. Well, not a little bee, big bee. That's, it's like kid sized. So we did that and I started on a shawl. Which is going to look really pretty when it's finished. And now I'm starting on my cross stitch for my trip. We're doing like all the things. Today's been been a busy, busy day. I was trying to get trying to work on getting things prepped for my trip so that everything's started or finished uh, as needed. See now that one. Two and then up one. About four thirty. Oh wow! Are you feeling better? And I know you said your wife was sick. And you thought you were catching it. Okay. Well, you haven't got the cold. That's good. That's that's something at least. This shit pisses me off. So each of these symbols on this chart, if if you if anyone's wondering what the heck this is, this is a form of cr cross stitch pattern. This particular one, <clears throat> whoopsie. Um, let me just turn this off. This particular one is, a, it's a graph where basically there's a symbol that, <clears throat> and it's color coded as well. So you find out like, for me right now, what I'm working on, uh, these um these little two diagonal squares so all of the squares on this pattern that are these diagonal squares are going to be the same color so it's like paint by numbers but with stitching however well not really however but every now and then you get like because of shading in a pattern you get like one little stitch that's out on its own and it's so frustrating because you're like, how do I deal with this? And there, there are ways to deal with it. But that's for fancy people. And I'm not a fancy people. I'm very not a fancy people. I'm like, can I do it scuffed? Yeah. There's like a special type of stitch that you can do that would work. 
or you can just like carry it far and then just have like this really long tail on the back of it and that's the stressful decision i have to make at the start of every project like will i do those big long stretches or not At this point, there's too many stitches for me to try, so I'm not gonna bother. I can't count that far away. Yeah, if pin stitch, yeah, because you you come up, you like start in the middle. So you've got these like squares. And you can basically start in the middle. And because of the tension of the fabric, if you start there and then you do like a half stitch on one side and a half stitch on another, it, Basically, the tension of the fabric will hold the stitch in place. And I think that's what I'm going to have to do for some of these, if I'm wanting to try and make this actually look nice. Or something. Because I can, I can never keep track of where I am for when the stitch is that far away, especially for a single. I almost always get it wrong. The, the clock on my stream deck, the clock button, has stopped working. And it says that it is quarter past 12. It's been saying it's quarter past 12 all day. It's clearly not quarter past 12. Not yet, not for another. Rob, don't you with your fancy time travel malarkey. Look at me, I'm Rob, I live in the future. <laughs> It will be in half an hour. The old stopped clock is always right twice a day thing. Unless you're in military time and when it's only once a day. Which is useless. I'm good, thank you, Rob. How about yourself? Oh. I accidentally muted music instead of push the drop button. Just having a bit of a an all round crafty organizy preparation y day. Oh, I just made it. I thought of you when I made that emote, Buckman. It seemed like we needed a riot emote. Luna, you landed on top of Bakma. You didn't knock him out. I can still just see the little teeny tiny bee. Behind the love heart. Oh, you're like ghosts. I just realized you can these like ghosts of the others. The ghosts of mushrooms past. 
Oh, nicely done, Bill. That's pretty fancy. Rob's like, oh yeah, hold my beer. Hold my tui. Is that right? Why did they not call the Cyclops frog Cyclops? I don't know, Revy. Are you finished? That's a Revy! Okay. Oh yeah, it is. It's nearly bedtime. How'd it go? How'd you find it? I was glancing over, I was watching. I mean, I would never watch another stream while I was live. Ever. I wouldn't do that. Ever. Did I mean you saw my driving? <laughs> I I'm not sure about how beneficial the truck actually is because of the amount of times that I got stuck on things. Like some, it just seemed like easier, especially when there's like multiple levels to just like leg it. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't think about that at all. That's awfully clever. Well, they do have a, a feedback section in their Discord now. If you are, are so inclined. It looks like they made a big difference on uh, changing the way to play um, place buildings. So that was nice. Yes. Yeah, go get some rest, girl. You've had a busy day. Two, three, four. Okay. You're obviously welcome to do that too. Obviously. I 
I just realized I'm hungry. Hmm. Am I gonna do anything about it? Probably not. Backman, did you get your your barbecue at any point? Living vicariously through other people for takeaways. Nor, Rob. You know, in some channels I go to, that would get you timed out doing a terrible dad joke. Still no barbecue? Why is this so dark? Why does this look black when it's green? You got Chinese again? Well, Chinese is okay. Whoa. Having a party. You level up tomorrow? <gasps> Fancy. Are you doing anything amazing? Or are you just going to be like, ding, and then level up? Is it a saturation thing? Whoa. I don't think the lookup table makes any difference. LUT doesn't do anything. Oh, that's because the LUT is not attached to anything. Oh. Ah. Maybe that's a bit much. <clears throat> Take away and watch the sports ball. Oh, you are in the final. I forgot about that. Try the sub scarf one. Oh god, now it just looks so yellow. Why am I doing this while I'm streaming? It still hasn't fixed it. I mean, it's made the color a lot clearer. <clears throat> Maybe. I didn't realize how yellow it was. All day, I've been using this awful... Awful yellow. It's just too bright though. I just read it as warm white. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's just a white balance, actually. I, if you've been here for a while, you'll find out that I'm a complete pain in the ass when it comes to color, <laughs> especially for crafting. I get really finicky about it. Luna's like, oh my god, is she ever? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fine. I don't I don't think I can fix the green looking like green. Whoa. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything about that. I'll just zoom out and then you can't tell. Um, <laughs> it did pear and onion pie. Um, I mean, I don't know. 
caramelized onions are pretty good. Excuse you, sir. There's a mosquito in here. For come in for her, her daily quarter of Floridian juice. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me that this is green. Right here. It's this. See? That's shiny green. Oh, part of it is the sheen. It's this green. I promise. A mosquito in Florida? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ravi. Hi, Sassy. Isn't it great? I have two of them, and I love them so much. Got like a little black and black and yellow one too. I have some charms that I keep meaning to add to them, but I keep forgetting about it. Thanks for joining us, Sassy. Hope you're having a wonderful crafty day. Ooh, Rosie the Riveter. That's cute. I've got these little... Might be a bit much though. I, have, I haven't decided what I want to do with them. I could always do with more. The, the color is... Whoopsie. I made the strand too long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think it's just the angle of the lighting actually that's making it look so dark. So normally I'd be working with a a, a smaller ring and on a a stand to hold it steady um but this is a travel project i'm not traveling right now but i will be it's also the first time i'm trying to use my qsnet frame and i'm not sure if i like it or not I'm trying it out because I have problems with my hands and with it being chunky it should be easier to hold on to than like a little skinny one but undecided yet So this is um, a, a cute little pen that I picked up on Etsy actually, but I didn't like the colors, so that's why what I'm doing doesn't match what's on the screen. I decided I didn't want to do it in, in blues, I'm doing it in green, so I had to like go through with my floss stash and try and like match things up and hopefully it works because I was kind of tired when I did the color palette I guess we'll find out soon enough We've been all over Strange Day. We've done some crochet. We've done the cross stitch. Uh, we did different crochet. Did a migurimi. Did some shawl. I don't normally. Uh, I normally do craft street. Well, I don't normally. Sundays is usually the day that I would do uh, craft streams. Friday I'm usually playing something involving fire. But felt like changing it up this week. I'm time traveling. I am. I've confused a few people by doing crafty stream today. I'm quite proud of that.
I'm still not sure about this Q snap. It is. We get, we have much variety here. So I do I do knit as well. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job, Luna. Always. I mean, that's true. Good news is, by being confused, I gained an extra day. Because I thought it was Saturday. And Bokma's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Friday. I was like, should I do craft stream? And Luna's like, yes, always. How has another hour passed? Wait a minute. Is it, is it the witching hour now? I must have started right on time. Or very close to it. It's too late to pause them now, isn't it? The hour has witched. Okay, well, I'm keeping going. I'm fine. Okay, uh, Ed's starting. Take a break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Uh, go get a drink and wee or something. All right, who won? Ravy got 74. But out of all that, only Ravy and Luna landed. Sounds like some fighting was going on there again. A little bit of boobin'.
so no and that's one of the constant actually that's one of the things that i i mull over there's no there's no right or wrong so what i normally do is if there's like a long row um and a like a an area where there's a lot of the same color i'll tend to do like a row of like forward slant and then come back and do their returning cross but if it's like a couple of stitches like in here i'll just do a complete cross before moving on to the next one that is not a dumb question either by the way i think it's a matter of preference really um because one of the benefits of doing like here i had eight stitches is then i can just like count out eight and then i know when i do the finish the cross i don't have to count anymore i've done it already but yeah it, it's i think it is a matter of preference i'm not happy with how the, this looks on camera i think i'm just being too picky But yeah, that, that question is one of the ones that I have mulling over in my head. Like, at the start of a project, do I just want to treat each stitch as an individual X? Or do I want to do these longer rows? Or like in a big area, do like all of them in one direction and then come back through and like finish them up? And I never know. I, I, I can never decide. And I end up just going all over the place. It's very helpful. I'm such organized. No one's ever said if there's like a, a preferred way or a more efficient way of doing it. Hey, thank you for the follow. If anyone like if hey, when he has like a preferred method, I'm always uh open to hearing what other people do. I don't like backseating when I'm gaming, but I don't mind too much when I'm crafting. Oh, these actual methods? Stitcher. I would... St um, English and Danish methods. So we just kind of play it by ear then. I didn't... I didn't know there were methods. Now I have to look it up. Go by Flea? Flay. Thank you for telling me, by the way. I appreciate that. Danish. Cross. Here we go. Let's look it up. I've, I've done a whole lot of cross stitch, but I never really know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank you. That's really useful information. So yeah, I kind of like, if there's like a lot of color, I guess I go with the Danish way. And if it's just a few, I do the English way. All right. Oh, here we go. I found a useful little. If anyone else has one, whoopsie. I don't know what I just did then. Found this little descriptor. Um. So is it's is it flea then? Um. But yeah, that's that's really useful. I did a learn. Well, 
like the bug. Perfect. Thank you, Flea, and welcome in. I appreciate you uh, answering my question. about the uh you're stitching for 25 years and you only you learn this stuff yeah i said i i did my first cross stitch when i was 10. so it's been a couple of decades i've never really been like persistent like the last few years i've definitely been more persistent about it but but yeah it just you just play it by ear and the same like i always i always tell myself at the start of a project that I won't carry the yarn more than a couple of squares. And then I get further into the project and I'm like, I really can't be asked cutting this thread. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> no one's going to see the back. It's fine. It's totally fine. I think the only the only rule I try and stick to that I will potentially correct is if I always try and like stitch in the same direction. So I'll always try and do like the right leaning arm first and then the left leaning on top. I'm like, wait, does that work? Yeah, that's what I've done. <laughs> the check. And I like I always try and keep that consistent on a project, but everything else is kind of uh trial by fire large heaven and earth designs with the park threads yeah i don't i don't even know man i don't even know how they do this so this is um hang on it's this pattern here which i got off etsy um but i'm I've changed the color palette because I don't like the, the washed out. I don't like the blue. So I went through all my floss and tried to like match up uh, to, to greens because I thought the greens would be cuter. And then I might try and see if I can do like the patches in different colors too, but I figure if I get the body done first. So we started, we're kind of working on uh, like under the left side of the chin. So in the shadow of the chin. Um, but yeah, there's some, some people like their embroidery skills are amazing and I'm just like, Derping along. Doing my own putsy thing. This is like the fourth cross stitch project I've started this year. How many have I finished? None. Though to be fair, one of them only has back stitching left. It's just that. I enjoy back stitching about as much as I enjoy weaving in ends and crochet or knitting. I oh know that was just a bit wonky which is to say not at all finishing right yeah it's like it's right there like I could just do it Oh, I got the low battery warning. Man, it is hard trying to find cross stitch patterns on Etsy now. There, there's so many that are very clearly um, 
stolen and or AI. Wait, oh. And the annoying thing is, you know, if you just like sat down, you could probably like knock it out. At least for me, I know I could just like knock it out in an hour, but it's like, oh. The worst bit. I always try it out when I'm doing big projects. I try and weave in as I go so that when I'm done, I'm done. I did a, a couple of like granny square blankets and granny hexagon blankets. The granny hex blanket I did not weave in as I went, but the granny square blanket I did. <laughs> yes. Right? I didn't sign up for sewing. What is this? I do usually try to find like no sew projects. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, maybe do that first. No, that's it. I don't mind the sewing. I like the sewing. Just don't make me finish the sewing either. But it's. It's kind of confusing because I because I've changed the colors so I'm seeing blue but it's actually green <coughs> my throat's dry but yeah I've got like this one it's a cute very cute little cross stitch it's basically finished i just have to do back stitching and every time i look at it i'm just like no 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 next time <clears throat> i inhaled a lot of dust today It's um, reminding me that I did. Normally I would have the, um, the picture up from what I'm working on, but there is a potential if I can finish it and it doesn't look terrible that I might be giving it away as a gift. So I don't want to ruin it. I'm going to cheat chat to make sure the person's not here. I don't think they read my read watch the VODs, so we're we're good on that front. Oh no, that's fine. I'm using a Q-snap frame for the first time too, but I'm not sure if I like it. Echo, yeah. <laughs> Luna's like, oh. Yeah, I don't know if I can finish it. I saw it, Luna, and I was like, uh, yes, obviously. But I'm, I mean, I, I haven't really said anything, so I don't know that you're slow. But yeah, like I said, I'm trying a Q-snap frame because I thought it might be easier to hold for when my hands flare up. But I'm already not sure. Tempted just to go back to the, the ring. Because it feels, I don't know, it feels kind of heavy. I suppose my problem is I'm probably gripping it, like, when I started doing crochet and I'd, like, grip onto the, the hook with, like, all of, I'd be white-knuckling it. <coughs> 
and there isn't really any need. In fact, I could probably just like rest it on the table. I think I'll take the ring with me anyway, so I can switch between the two. It was very exciting earlier. We uh, prepared the fabric, and by which I mean I did my little red stitch, and then I wrapped the edges in masking tape because I'm fancy. I don't have any of that like fancy stitch glue stuff. I'm like, you know what? Masking tape will work. Just to stop it from like unraveling. My earbuds are getting mad at me about going flat, which means I've been live for nearly eight hours. I'm Considering I wasn't sure if I was gonna, how long I was gonna stream today, I think we've done well. So, I th tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday, right? I've, I've got that right today. I'm just, okay, I'm stopping raids. <clears throat> um, so, I think, I'm not sure, but I think tomorrow we're gonna be starting off with some Euro Truck Sim, just for something completely different. Um, I haven't the foggiest what I'm going to do after that. Um, and I don't know what we're going to do on Sunday either. Sunday is going to be my last stream before my holiday. Um. I may end up having to take Sunday off, actually. But we'll see. Just because of, like, trying to get stuff done before I go, like, laundry and things. I want to make sure every th that I leave everything in, like, not perfect, but pretty good condition. So that it's easier for Flint to maintain. I just realized I was holding the project off screen. That's very helpful. I am the helpfulest. I'm definitely gripping this sucker. Look, I got a boo-boo. I got a blister on my thumb from mowing the lawn today. So unimpressed. I'm like the biggest baby. Big Kekin baby confirmed. I keep wondering. I wonder if I should just do it. I don't know if any if anyone here has experience with uh, the the project tracking, like the cross stitch apps where you can like put your pattern in. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, Sassy. I'm trying to decide if it'd be worth investing in one of those apps just so I could have this PDF like manageable on my farm. I think look, part of part of it is also like, even though I'm doing a terrible job right now of like trying to keep it like in the camera and close enough for me to read or to to actually see the things because my glasses are out of date But yeah, like there's like, like a Stitch Keeper or something and a couple of other apps out there for tracking projects. So if any of them are ones that you can actually just like upload the PDF and then it tracks it, that would be pretty awesome.
because the PDF, like editing the PDF on my computer is like easy. And it works really well for stream. So you guys can see where I'm at on the pit right here. Uh, oh, I hate it when it does that. It goes off. Oh, actually, no, that works. Yes. Oh, hey, I can just like. Hold it against my tummy. Huh? Where is it? I definitely made this strand too long, which is part of what I'm arguing with right now. Okay, so we've got two, one, here. My poor little earbuds keep yelling at me. No battery. No battery. I I know. Girl, same. Maybe if you stop telling me that there's a low battery every five minutes, the battery will last longer. Some crazy world. Honestly, holding against my stomach is kind of handy. But yeah, I can decide if I if I like the Q-snip or this like the ring better. My mouse here. One, two. All right, I'm gonna save that. <clears throat> I think I'm. Oh, sweet. I think I'm about ready. I think we're we're gonna wrap up. Um <laughs> I need to get a hot drink because my throat's killing me from all the dust. <clears throat> but I had fun today. It was nice doing a craft stream off uh off routine. I did enjoy it. And we did so many things. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for the company, Bill. And uh, yeah, please never, never feel shy to ask questions about what I'm doing or vintage story or, you know, anything else. Streamers love chatters. Um. Oh, thank you, Stu. Yay! You did? That's awesome, Luna. I can't I can't wait to see it. Alright, I'm gonna send you guys over to Littles. This is weird because it feels like a Sunday for me now, but I know it's not. Um I'm gonna send you out of category to my friend Littles. Uh she's playing The Witcher 3. Um playing through for the first time. Um she's really sweet and a complete goofball. Um, been friends for years. So, uh, feel free to join in on the raid. You don't have to stick around, but come over for the raid. 
Does Sparky heat in the door? Um, here's the ray calls. If you would like to copy and paste either one of those, you are welcome to do so. Um, and that's me on social as well. Occasionally, I do social stuff. Mostly on threads. Threads is more like me and Instagram, and then Twitter is more like stream stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. And uh, I'll get some pictures up of the bee. And some other stuff, maybe. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow from around 4 p.m. Eastern with some trucks. And then, I don't know, some power wash sim or vintage story. I don't fucking know. There'll be something. Um, I'm going to shut up now because it's getting weird and awkward. And, uh, yeah. You have a good night. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.